that. Who, who, who is there? Speak at once. I know the man with that scent. Longinus! Of course it is you, Longinus! Have you not been warned to stop coming here? Uh, I see, I'm a freeborn in this land. I'm a freeborn of this land. Nobody can tell me where to go, when to go and how to go anywhere. Uh -huh. Longinus, what do you want from me? What do you want from a girl without sight? Of all the girls in this village with sight, what do you want from me? See, Ujuka, sometimes you even act like you don't even know what you have. Okay, see, can you imagine your part, part of your body where the sun is hitting is like this? Can you imagine the places that sun doesn't touch? Ujuka, I cannot let you be. Oh, nah, you got bolo me You got bolo me Leave this place at once before I scream. Leave. See, don't even bother yourself wasting your energy. I already saw your brother at Mazeche, the cast from land. So he's not coming back anytime soon. Better relax. He must come to my rescue. Let us go. Leave Mas this place. Longi. Longi, no, leave this place. Leave, leave this place. Bad dream. A bad dream? About what? I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine, not to worry. I'm you don't fine. want to talk about it now? I'm, I'm fine. Are you alright? I'm fine. wants me to work in his farmland. So I'm going there this morning to work in his farmland and see if I can raise some money. We don't have much money in the house. Oko, <laughs> Oko, Biko, um, um, could you please forget about going to the farm today? Biko, please. Eh? Sister, we don't have much money here for us to feed. If I don't go out there, how, how am I going to raise some money for us to feed? Because we can manage, Biko. Huh? We can manage. Besides, the job will wait for you. I'm certain. It will be there for you till tomorrow. Huh? Please, forget about today. 
Well, um, I'll go out and get you some drugs and at least when you take it and you feel better, maybe in the evening I'll go and work for him. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Better. Better. I don't want you going out this morning at all. Please stay with me and take care of me, oh? Please. I heard you, sister. I'll go and get you the drugs and buy Okpa so that you eat and take your drug. Uh -huh. Hey, sister. Hmm? I hope it's not about the dream you had that you've not told me about. No, it is not. <laughs> Bam 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 bam. Far from far from it. <laughs> okay, let me go out and get you the drugs so you take. Okay. And go inside now. Like short. Now for you. Now for you. The stench from your unclean mouth always announces your presence. Hmm. What have you come here to do? Lord Genus. So you mean that me, Lonji Baby? You mean that me, Lonji Baby? Is it only that my mouth smells, Abby? Is that what you're saying? Yes, I said it. What have you come here to do? What have you come here to do, Lonji? Calm down. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Why your blood the hot like this? See, I have come to take my chances once more. Well, how long will you even deny me all these things? What's in this up now? For how long will you keep saying no to me? See, you you, you, you have the ego. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Longinus? Talking about a piece of you again, okay? And make you don't see it. Even if now only the cat, even in a small, make I pen you. Who can you want to love, man? Nah, eh. See, you, you have to, you have to, you can't be this beautiful for nothing now. Uh -uh. Aren't you tired of wanting to defy a defenseless blind girl? Aren't you tired of wanting to have what you will never get? Uh. I will never get it, Abby. Yes! Eh! I will never get it! See, let me tell you. If you're even thinking of shouting your brother's name to come and save you, I saw him by the king's shop buying something on my way to this place. So, nothing come out, nobody to save you. Efreya! One no Senegal! He got follow me and I also. He got here. So, Genus! He got me here. He got me here. He got me here. Oh, Genus! 
come close to me. Don't come close to me, Lord Jesus. Don't come close to me. Don't come close to me, Lord Jesus. Don't come. Tell me about the vision you had. You should have told me about your vision. I, I, I thought the best way to stop the vision from actualizing was you not going to the farm today. I, 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 I am always vulnerable when you are away from me. I'm always vulnerable. I thought the Igwe warned him never to show up in this house again. Ugo, mention one person. Tell me one person who isn't scared or afraid of um, 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 Longinus. Sister, I, I am not afraid of Longinus. I am not afraid of Longinus in this village. I will show him the stuff I'm made of. Wait, Ugo, I'm coming. Ugo, 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 where? Ugo, where are you going? Ugo! Ugo, one name. Ugo, please. Ugo. Ugo, you're not going anywhere. Do you, do you want this vision to, to come to pass? Eh? Sister, let that vision come to pass today. That vision must come to pass. You see, Lord Junius, he must die today. Ugo, you're not, not going anywhere. Ugo! 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 Longi, Longi, Longi. Emereki, Eme. Onyo, Pyojo. Emereki, Eme. Sosaro rana juru yobi Emereki eme Echiche ya nine bi hojo Emereki eme Waneke no nuko si agiche Emereki eme Emereki eme Longinus! 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 Calm down, see. We're gonna see the, what, what is all this problem? Why, why, why are we even? Why are we even? Why, 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 Quite understood, sir. Yes, yeah, sir, but I have something important I need to tell you. Yes, yeah, so, so the owner of the building um, introduced someone to me as the new plumber. And uh, I don't feel comfortable here anymore, sir. Yes, sir, because I feel like as the engineer on site, my opinions should be respected. They keep undermining my position as the engineer on site. And I feel very bad about it. Yes, sir. 
for an instance, I told him how deep the soccer way should be when digging. He pays me no attention. I told him the number of pillars to erect to enable cars pass on the bridge. He, he's very nonchalant about it. I also told him the types of pipe to use to avoid blockage in the future. But this guy directly told me that I should mind my business. Sir, if these guys here do not have respect for the engineer on site, then what am I doing here? Please, sir, I, I need them to be called to order. All right, no problem, sir. Okay, I'll, I'll, no problem, I'll credit you. All right, thank you. For and besides, where is your brother? He's the one I'm looking for. He's the one I'm looking for. Oh, okay, you know what? Let, let me take you back. Mm -hmm. You can't walk without an aid. No, 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 no. Please, eh? I need to find my brother before he does something drastic. Take me to Longi's house, please. He will do something he will regret. My brother will do something he will regret. All right, let's go home first. I will go and look for your brother and stop no. him. No. So promise. No, 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 please take me. Please just go, take please. Me, please, please. Take me to Longi's house, Miko. No. Let, let's go home first, please. This way, this way. to you as a squirrel, what will you do? What will you do? For your information, or, or rather if you have forgotten, I am one of the people in this village that is not afraid of you. 
Amadi. Amadi. Amadi, see, let me tell you. In no due time, the position of a liar will be reestablished in the gathering of a man, man like you. I call it. Yeah, fear. Ah, thank God that uh, you've always referred yourself as an animal. One man. And that animal you shall remain. Please tell me why you are here. Please uh, stop, stop talking rubbish. At your, at your small age, I've found white age. You go there, give me permit, make a drink. Give me one jug. Which permit? You're still owing me for the last one you took. And you still want me to give you another one. Pay me first. Wait, does that mean I cannot have Pami now? You cannot until you pay for the last one you took. What is very simple. You are looking down on me, Amadi. In a neglect. But I will shock you. Well, I will shock you, Amadi. No, I will shock you. <laughs> I will shock you. <laughs> Amadi, I will shock you. Amadi, Amadi, the kind of insult in a yemen at this village, Amadi. Amadi rain go fall. Amadi rain go fall. I'm wearing fall. Look at you. When the rain will fall, huh? even the vulture will know that he is not supposed to step out. If not, William Makaya. Amadi, you tell me that thing where it's off your head. Hey, you are going to be in a this. Okay, one money by the end. Time rich. One money by the end. And the time rich. Speaking when I know she's there. Okay, I'm going to go. We have to hurry up, yeah? Okay, sir. Hurry up, hurry up. Hurry okay, up. sir. Meet up with the mechanic. It's very important. Okay, I don't sir. trust these villagers. My brother, before it's too late, Don't please. Worry. Let's go home for. See, it's very dangerous for you to come at it alone. No, I will take my chances, no, 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 please. No, no. Sorry, sir. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Are you deaf? What's actually wrong with you villagers? A tricycle is right behind you. And you won't let us pass. Why? 
Sir, I, I'm sorry. I, L listen, you have to be sorry for yourself. A grown-up girl like you, in the middle of the road, playing with sticks? At your age? Uh, sir, I'm sorry. I am without sight. I, I, I wouldn't have made such mistake if I was with sight, sir. Then stop making such mistakes. Please leave the road. So I said I am without sight. Oh. I didn't hear that part. You can't see me. Are you blind? She's blind. Huh? She's blind. No wonder. Listen, I, I am so sorry. I apologize. I, I didn't hear that part. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't I didn't know you 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 had this you know deficiency. It's, 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 it's okay, sir. If only if only my brother hadn't left the house, I would not be in the middle of the road causing trouble with my condition. I'm sorry. That, that's about, listen, I, I'm sorry, okay? How can I help? Did you say you're looking for your brother? Yes, we go now one name. He ran out of the house. I don't know exactly the house he went. But I, I, I need to find him before he does something drastic. I, I need to. Uh, oh, okay, let's help find your brother, okay? Can we Can we go? I, I can help you find your brother. Is that okay? Uh, Oga, I thought you were looking for a mechanic that will fix your car. Yes, I am, but that can wait. Let's help uh, find her brother, okay? Maybe so your money go increase now. That's okay, that's okay. okay no Come man. with me, let's find your brother. I, I don't want to inconvenience you, sir. Just lead me to the market square so that I can find people who will help me locate my brother. No, no. I, I, I'm sure, I'm sure I'll find my brother. Oh, listen, listen, once young, young lady. Once I get to the market square. Young lady, I'm not, I'm not complaining, okay? I just want to help find your brother. I can't leave you here. You're blind, you can't see. Something bad might happen. Okay, so just come with me and let's find your brother together. Is that okay? Let's help him. Is that okay? Just trust me, okay? I fell too many times. It's okay, it's okay. Just come, come this way. Come. Useless, useless Lord Junius. Hello, hello. Hi. Excuse me. I, I'm sorry, please. I, I'm looking for someone called Ugona. Have you seen him around here? Ugona. Ugona, yes. Is there any problem? Ugo. S who are you, sir? Ugo, is eh? that you? Eh? Ugo. Sister. Ugo. Sister Uchuka. Ugo. Do like this now, eh? Do you know how many times I fell in search of you? I don't like this. You know my condition, and you left that way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sister. I'm sorry. I I, I don't like it. I'm sorry. 
Hi. Hi. My, my name is Engineer Eric. Are you the person she's been looking for? Yes, sir. Why? She's been looking everywhere for you. I'm sure you know her condition. You shouldn't let her be by herself. Please don't do this again. All right, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry I left her alone. I hope you did not do anything drastic. Sister, you was lucky, but I didn't do anything. I didn't, I didn't do anything. Thank this Oga for me. He gave me a lift. Oga, okay, thank you so much. Thank that, you. That's okay. That's okay. Listen, um, where, where are you guys headed? I was going home. Okay, we all have to manage in this, okay? Because my car just broke down. I'm trying to fix it, all right? Please get your stuff so we can go. Please help her in. Thank you. I don't like this thing. Sorry, sorry. It's okay. Yeah, this way. It's okay. It's okay. Like this. Sorry. Your head. Sorry. Please, easy, careful, easy. Careful. Sorry. Yes, sorry. Sorry. So we'll just take them home, all right? Very glad that you're back home and safe. Um, uh, I appreciate, sir. I appreciate all you did today. I'm really, really grateful, sir. Thank you once again. You're welcome. Um, you're very welcome. My name is Eric, actually, not Sir. <laughs> <laughs> so address me as Eric, okay? And I must say you're very pretty. You're. You are a very pretty woman. Thank you, sir. I, I, I hear that a lot, but how true is that? Oh, it's very, very true. I mean, I wish you can see for yourself. Yeah. I, I, wish, I wish I could actually see how beautiful people claim I am. No, no, they don't claim, actually. They are right. You're right. You're very beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> uh, by the way, sir, yeah. my name is Ujuka. Oh, beautiful name. You have a beautiful name. Thank you, sir. And 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 his um, Ugoan name, my younger brother. I, I I love to call him my guardian angel. Uh, he is the only family I have. And he's been taking very good care of me since our parents died. Oh, I see. I'm really sorry to hear about your parents. Okay? And um, nice to meet you, young man. Thank you. Uh, my name is Eric, like I said before. Uh, I'm an engineer in this village. I, I'm in charge of some of the projects you see around. I'm new in this village and uh, I like it here. Unfortunately, today my, my car stopped. It got bad, so I was heading to get a mechanic. Uh, that's when I saw your sister. Oh, well, you, you're welcome to our village, sir. Thank you. And thank you so much for what you did for my sister today. If not for you, what would have happened to her? Thank you. No, that's okay. That's okay. I, but I must commend you for taking good care of her. Please continue to do that because she, she needs it. Okay? All right, sir. Thank you. Um, I'll be on my way now. Yes, I have to get the mechanic to fix my car. All right, sir. Um, if it's about your car, you'll get your car fixed because we have good mechanics oh, in this village. <laughs> Thank you. I called one already. Uh, so take good care of your sister and uh, take care of yourself, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll see you guys some other time. Mm -hmm. All right, sir. All right. Okay, sir. Take care of you. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. Bye. Yeah. Sorry, I kept you waiting. Okay, go now. Don't worry, I'll give you whatever you want, okay?
This grass or the grass is cutting you. Which one? You scared me. Really? Sorry. Sis money. See, see, see the only thing you've cut. I'm right. Even... What are you saying? Okay. Thank God you're here. Take. Eh? Help me cut this grass, please. No. I, I was just passing by. As an indigenous of this community, I decided to come and send my greetings to this household. Did I do anything wrong? No, you didn't. Well, we've received your greetings, so can you now please help me to cut this grass? Before my mom gets back from the market, I've been trying to avoid doing this since morning. Please. Why are you such a lazy girl? Why? Yet you love me like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I missed you. I missed you too, baby. So how is your sister? She's just there. How have you been? I've been great. Just bored. You're bored? Yeah. No, I wasn't even planning on coming to your place later today. Are you serious? Mm. That would be a nice idea. Well, let me go home, prepare myself, and I'll wait for your coming. How about that? Bad boy. I'll <laughs> wait for your coming. <laughs> Alright, enough talking. Take. Be a man. Hmm? Did I say I'm tasty? Please, no, just help me. A wild girl. I'd love to have a man like me as your man. And you are so blessed to have me as your woman. <laughs> so much for helping me out with the grasses. You're welcome, baby. But you need to stop being lazy. Come on, I'm not. You're not lazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not see you. Hey! My mom! My mom is here! When will you ever introduce me to your mom? So we'll make this whole thing legit instead of hiding. This is not the right time. My mom is coming. One more kiss. See, I'll, 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 come, I'll come to your house later. One more kiss. Go! One more kiss. I'll come to your place later. Just go. Go, 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 go. I saw someone run towards backyard. Only there. Someone? No. Mama is, Mama is just me here. Mama. Mama. It's not fair. I hope you have finished what I asked you to do. Yes, now. See the compound. Your compound is all cleared up. Okay. Go and make fire. Let's make lunch. Okay. Welcome. Lunchy, lunchy, lunchy. Emmerich, Onyo bi ojo emereki eme 
Sasaru ranna juru yobi Emere ki emere What did he do? I saw him peeping through the window, peeping at your room. Hey! Chimo, peeping. Yes, sister. But, but, what did you do to him? I give him what he deserves. Mm -hmm. So I will prepare for fun, okay? Hi! Pippin, what? You're going to keep Pippin. What's he want to see? Slide away with all this rubbish. If not for one thing, if not for one thing, may that boy yen give me a. Well, genius, let me even ask you something. What is that one thing that is stopping you from dealing with that useless boy once and for all? My Ujuka. One Ujuka. I don't want to do anything that will hurt that girl. Guy, if not for Ujuka, I'm for all this boy. I'm going to be good now. I'm going to be more bands now. I'm for all but she consistently denies you what you seek for. Can't you see that it can't work out? Nah. Why are you seeking yourself? One, one. I hate negative energy around me. I. One, I hate negative energy around me. If you don't believe in what I believe, why? What is all this now? What will me to know? Swear, what will me to know? I'm only telling you the truth. Ah. For the truth. Why are you shouting now? Eh? Why are you shouting? No problem. You, you, you love Uju Joker. You love Uju Joker. Look at it. Just look at it. Look at it. <laughs> I think I know what to do. What do you want to do? Where is Carl? I believe I should be at the bar now or wasting. I'm going to fetch Carl. I have an assignment for both of you. Uh, Let uh, me smoke my pen and we're gone. Uh, okay. make I drive one mouth now. Make I drive one mouth I beg. Now wait till make you know the girl respect. Oh God, make I drive one mouth I beg. Now wait till play now. Huh? Now. 
I they come now. Eh? Sabel, if they come back, you see uh, uh, Peters, eh? Ah. Peters, yes. Lanji, 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 Emereki, Emereki, Onyo, Pyojo, Emereki, Emereki. Killing me already. Just that I, I couldn't complain. Sister, you need to be open to me at all times so that I know what troubles you. I'm here to effectively take care of you. So please be open to me. Hi. Oh God. You sound way too mature for your age. Way too mature. I believe you denied yourself youthful pleasure and assumed the role of a parent just to be there for me. How can I ever repay this kindness? Sister, you want to repay your own brother? <laughs> you don't need to repay me. I am here to take care of you. It's my responsibility. Alright? <laughs> oh God. I wish I could see how grown you've become. <laughs> Has stress made you look old? Or is it just your voice that sounds old? <laughs> Sister, the rain has stopped and my clients are waiting for me. Let's get to the farm and we'll talk more. Is that okay? I love you, my name. <laughs> and I love you too. So let's start going. Okay? Uh, lead the way, I'm behind you. So go down first. Easy, easy, easy.
Ninja. Yes. I am here with you. You don't have anything to be scared of. We're gonna let's take another direction, please. Sister, I am here with you. You don't have anything to be scared of. Ugona, Ugona, please. My instinct and God's feeling have never failed me. Let's take another direction. Biko. Sister, I am here with you. Besides, there's no one here. Ugo. I can't even see anyone. Let's go. Let's go, please. Hey, hold it Ugo. Hold it up. Ugo, one name. Stay away. Stop, stop, stop. Stay Ugo, away. one name. Stay away. Stop. Ugo. Hold it up. Stay. Stay away. Ugo, are you okay? Stay away. Ugo, one name. Stay away. Uko! 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 I'm fine, I'm fine, sister. I'm here. I'm here. To that poor little blind girl, outsmarted both of you. That small girl outsmarted both of you. No, be here. One oku. Mwa phone on that boy. Nsulu go ranya, nsulu go ranya. But you know everything now. A puppy, you know what's up. She wouldn't have done that without the help of her. How old is the brother? I don't look at the boy, the guy. Are you not twice his age? Eh? And you allow that small boy play on your intelligence. How could that boy go fit run past you with some boat? You, you where the back generator climb fence disappear. Okay, because no be on Mila Matabi. Senior no vex, eh? Makachuku, we need to that coming. Boy was just too fast and went into hiding. Like he already knows his way around the bush. You hear yourself now. Small picking where they stay house now. Don't Sabi Road pass you. Where they live inside bush. For inside bush! Moko. Moko. Hey, don't be now. You don't be as you go be. Um, my money. Oh, see. Singing. My money. But I'm gonna balance me money when I give on for this deal now. As soon as I know deliver, I'm not gonna balance me now. Eh? I probably wear my money now. Kaima? You know they hear me. You know my money. Oh, you know as they be now, Bobby. You know what's up now? How you doing? Everly now, almost smoke. I swear, loud calls like mad. This is it. One day, I'll find out. Check out now. Huh? Mm -hmm. I use my money. I smoke. swear. Mm -hmm. Ah, <laughs> On your pioja, Emereki Eme, Sasaru ran a juru yobi, Emereki Eme. Go go smoke if you want smoke. No, I'm going to smoke. I'm going to smoke for your pocket for your song. Smoke for your pocket for your song. Go go see a gije, Emereki Eme. On the high with my money. See small girl we play on your intelligence. You get mad the dog. God, where are you? Chim ne bekino. Life is so harsh on me, oh. So painful, so painful. She won't be in I want to hear his voice again. Oh God, where are you? Who? The voice of the man who helped me. Oh, the stranger. I would prefer you don't call him that. His gentle voice still rings in my head. 
a good man I choose to call him. Okay, um, you're right. He's a good man. Um, he came for a project here. I guess he's done with the project and left. Eh? Of course he will leave. I know he will leave. Everyone leaves. Everything good keeps leaving me. My sight left me a long time ago. Mama and Papa both left me. Everything is gone. Sister, everything good is gone. But I'm here for you. You know what? I'm here with you. Let's face life challenges together. We'll win. We'll conquer. Okay? I love you, sister. I do. And I'm here to protect you. Okay? Is that okay? So can we go? Okay, let's go. Please don't cry. too long as long as you're here that's what matters my love mm -hmm. i went into a thick bush to get this for you i hope really? you like it yeah. <laughs> how does it smell oh, so it sweet like... just like you mm, i love you <laughs> thank you <laughs> mm. i love you love it too kiss me baby love you let me let me let me try something that i um have on my mind let me see if it's okay. work it will stay. It will stay. Let me see. It will stay. Let me see. Okay, just try. Okay. See. Stay. Oh, it's 
falling off again. Let me put it. <laughs> Let me put it again. Hold on. Let me see. Must stay. Yes. How do I look? You look good. The Disney princess, right? Yeah, you're beautiful, baby. <laughs> Let's go. All right, babe. I love you. I love you. I love you too. Kiss me. Going to 
it's, it's, you don't look excited to see me. My love, you should go. Your mother can't see you here. I brought you food. Hello. Thank you. But your mother can't find you here. She can't see you here. Please. Can, can you please stop talking about my mother? Please. How can I stop talking about your mother? How can I? She warned me to stay away from you. She told me to stay away from you. Except I'm ready to get married to you now. And I... I can't... I, probably I can't get married to you right now because... You see? Is this, is this the job that I'll use and get married to you? I don't have the money. I'm aware of that. Okay? And I'm ready to wait. You know that I'm ready to wait for you. But I don't know what my mother's problem is. I don't know what her problem is. I don't know why she can't just let us be. She can't because she wants, she needs a rich man that is capable of taking care of you. And as you can see, I can't even, this is life. Look, all these things that I'm, this work is, is, is this kind of work that I will use and take care of you. Eh? I love you. But I can't, like, like this. I think I know what to do. What? I'll run away from that house. No, 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 don't, 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 don't. Run away. If you run away, you put me, you put me in more trouble. See, if it's the will of God for you and I to get married, eh, that will will be done someday. But right now, all we can do is pray and hope unto God. Eh, my love. It's okay now. Sorry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Okay. See. Let me. My baby, see, I'm eating the food. Mm. Tastes nice. You know you're a good cook. My love, Amaram. Mm. I love you. Call me that again. My love. Yes, babe. It's okay, yeah. Go on, ma'am. You, you don't sound happy since you got back. Oh, Guinea, what is it? Sister, mm. is you not my mama? Is you not, is you not my mama? That woman doesn't like me. She doesn't like me. Why? Sister, she has been confronting me. She has been, she, she has been telling me to stay away from, from her daughter until I'm ready to get married to her. Today's one was too hectic for me and I can't take it. She's that harsh, and you have never made mention of it to me. Ugonna. Sister, you know I don't want anything to bother you. I don't want anything to bother you, and that's the reason I kept it away from you. I love that girl so much. I love Amara. And I, I wish I can marry her. Biko, what is her reason? Sister, she said, she said I should stay away from her daughter until I'm ready to get married to her. And you can see my condition. I, I don't have the resources to get married to her yet. I wish, I wish I have my sight and working so as to help you raise money in marrying that girl. I really like her for you. Both of you deserve each other. She's too kind-hearted. I don't want to lose her. I don't want to miss her. She's the woman for you. Sister, exactly. Exactly. I want to get married to her. I need to work hard. I need to work harder. I get married to her. I love Amara so much. I can't lose her. I can't lose Amara. You see Amara, I must marry Amara. I must marry Amara. Not to worry, eh? not to worry, my, my, my dear brother. God will supply your needs. You know, go. I mean, he will supply your needs. He will do something. You must marry that girl. Eh? God, God will answer your prayers and supply you with all your needs. Okay. Amen. Thank you so much, sister. She's... I will keep working hard. 
I'll keep working hard till I save enough money to marry Amara. You see Amara, in this village, <laughs> I must marry Amara. I don't even want to lose her as a sister-in-law. Uh, okay. She's okay. such a nice girl. It's okay. Go. Sister, let, let me go and prepare so I will go to market. Okay? Okay. Don't, don't worry yourself, yeah? I'm, I'm fine. I'll be fine. Alright? Okay. Call me. Let me prepare. Life is so harsh on me, oh. So painful, so painful. She won't win you no fire. Oh God, where are you? A baby, no you Life is harsh on me, oh. Who is that? I don't know. Hello. That's Mr. Eric. Hi. Eh. Hey. <laughs> Hi. We we'll meet again. So nice to see you, Mr. Eric. Oh, you remember my name? That's very brilliant of you. How are you there? Uh, uh, we, we meet again, sir. Yes. How are you? I, I, I'm fine, sir. Great, great. I'm very well. I, I, I thought I would never hear from you again. <laughs> <laughs> well, after fixing my car the other day, I had to quickly rush to the city to pick up a few work materials, you know? Oh. Yes. How are you? Oh, oh, you, you, you live in the city. Oh, yes, I live in the city. I just come here to work. Ah, Mr. Eric. Yes. My sister can't stop talking about you. Oh. Your voice rings in her head. Oh, really? Oh, 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 oh. oh that's it. Okay, okay. Don't go violent on him right now. So, where are you guys headed? Uh, to the market to actually buy some food stuff. Oh, okay, great. Um, I just closed from work, so I'm actually going to, you know, have a few drinks. Uh, you guys want to join me or something? Oh, I, c I, can't, I can take you to the market. No, 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 no. Uh, that can wait. Take us with you. Are you sure about that? Yes, I am. Oh, that's great. Just come with me. Come. I'll just get the door. I'm a panuka osie bido. Na kosie je lo. He's so strong. Come, come, come. Just imagine Just the ways of love. No, no, this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just careful. Imagine what, 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 the steps so, of right. love. So, yeah. You sit gradually. Oh, yeah, my friend, oh, yeah, my friend, oh, yeah, my friend, oh, yeah, my friend, oh, yeah, my love is strong. Oh, 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 love, oh, can you go? Oh, I just love, oh, I love, oh, can I go? Oh, I just love, oh, I love, oh, can I go? Oh, I just love, oh, I love, oh, can I go? Oh, I just love, oh, I love, oh, can I go? Oh, I just love, oh, I love, oh, can I go? Sometimes love is painful. You like it, eh? Mm, so I know you like it, that's why I brought it here. Amadi Pupe Soup is the best Pupe Soup so far. You can say that again. You can say that again. Amadi number one. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy. Enjoy yourself, enjoy yourself. Okay. Are hot. Enjoy. Uh -huh. I have the money. Uh -huh. I have the money. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm. Amadi? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, don't worry, I'll call you back. Okay, okay. You still need more. I'll call you later. Don't finish it. We are together now. Uh -huh. Don't finish it now. Mm. <sighs> don't touch the meat yet. Let me tag it. In. Let me All tag right. it. In. Okay. Oh, hello. 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 Hi. You're welcome. How are you? Welcome. Welcome. Sir. Yes. Welcome. Have you been? Ah, very fine. Long time. Uh, yeah, I, I traveled. I, I, I just got here. Okay. Uh, so uh, I had closed from work. I was coming here to have a few drinks, and uh, 
I saw them on my way here, so I decided to come with them to, you know, also take some palm oil. Right. Right. You did well, you did well. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Look, just have a seat. No problem. Thank you. Uh, Juka, how are you today? I'm very well, thank you. You will continue to be well in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, let me, let me get it. Uh, yeah, as usual. My, my usual. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, you alright? Yes, I am. <laughs> Beautiful weather, right? Really? Is it dark already? Uh, it's 4 p.m. actually. Uh, right. What's the color of the weather? Uh, I would say hue, but I'm not sure. I know it's a beautiful weather. Okay. Great. I've missed your soft voice. I'm longing to hear your voice again. Uh, did you think of me? Uh, uh, yeah, I, I did. I, I thought about you a lot of times and uh, I was a bit worried. I, I don't know why. I was a bit, you know, concerned about you and your safety. Yeah. Ujuka. <laughs> Sir. I heard that that idiot Longinut sent some people the other time to kidnap you. Kidnap? Yes. Yes, he did. Uh, but my brother saved the day. I don't know what is wrong with that boy. Why is it that that boy does not want to help himself and his family? The day he will enter my trap, eh? What I will do to him? Hmm? I can even kill him. Who is Longinus and why does Mr. Amadi want to kill him? Like I said, I'll ensure you're protected from any evil. Okay? I'll ensure nothing bad happens to you. No harm will come on you, I promise you that. Thank you, sir. You see, all my life I've been praying to have a guardian angel. And here you are, <laughs> protecting me already. <laughs> well. uh, Longinus is the only problem I have in this village. He's sworn to torment me, even in my world of darkness. That won't happen again. I mean, talk to the police and uh, they are doing everything in their power to ensure that it never happens again. Police? Hey. Even the king is afraid of Longinus in this village. Oh. He slept in almost all the cells in this village. It's okay. Let me handle that, okay? Alright? Okay, sir. I gave your brother some money to buy some food stuff. Hey. Again, <laughs> again, yeah. hey, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Take good care of yourself. I'll be in touch from time to time, okay? <laughs> okay, sir. Uh -huh. My brother told me about your big, beautiful car. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where is he? Where's, where's Gunnar? Uh, he's coming. He wants to get something. Wait. <laughs> so you know sir, no be your mates normally? That means you can only joke with your mates and not me. But when we are meeting guy, it's when we're gonna change. Oga, I saw her in a man's car with her brother in Oleba and Ajum. Nah, I don't understand. Eh? I wanna go come the light give you now. Eh? It seems to be an atom of truth in what you just said. Oga, I don't mark off what But how can I? Like how Kwana, which like, the, the person of Jukwale said, he no ask questions. Oh God, the one we even fear me this year. The man doesn't look like someone from this village. What can see see where to? And the guy is fresh. You know what I'm saying? Fucking fresh. Hmm? Guy, go help me find out who be that. Uh, yes. 
But self, me, I know, I know, still believe your story. You understand? Okay. But what, just, just the find, find out who that person be. Make I know who be that we want to act. Iota, eh? But meanwhile, help me with this clothes, eh? Make I check. You see? Every moment I hook up. You see? Make I feel collect my money back. Make I help you wash clothes. Mm. No, now, nah. now, why you go come tell me say make I wash clothes for you now? You carry a woman inside. Tell her make she come wash his clothes. They tell me say me grown up guy. God, I wash good for you. You know make sense now. Now for the hand though. Now for the hand, the alabam. Now for the hand. Tell her make she can wash these clothes. We hook up girl, know they wash clothes. They know they sweep house. Now wake up, wake up, collect your money. Uh, Salma. Longy, longy, longy. Emereki, eme. Onyo biyo, emereki eme. Sasa arora na juru yobi, emereki eme. Echi che yani ne biyo, emereki eme. Wane keno nuko si agije. I know it is you, Longinus. Why can't you leave me alone? Why? You too. Why can't you give me what I've been asking for? Oh, if you don't, eh, ball me, huh? If you give it to me, will you die? Eh? What is all this now? I mean, what, what, what is wrong with you? Blindness. Blindness is wrong with me. Is that not enough suffering for you to let me be? Longi? You, you've not despised me this much since I know you. I, 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 is it because of the new man? Eh? 
What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, you think I don't know? My intels are everywhere. They have played me the latest gist. They told me about one fair man that is doing everything he can. Eh? He's doing everything he could do to take what is mine. And if I may ask, what is rightfully yours? You are mine. Shh. Ujuka, you be my own. Nobody, nobody can thwart that fact. Over my dead body. Now you. Over, eh? over my dead body, Lord See, Genus. Let me tell you, I'm not even here to banter words with you. I am here to officially get you pregnant. So that when that Arthur Rocha comes back here, you will know that you're already after one. Did you hear me? Over my dead body, Longi. Over my dead body. Mm. That can never happen. Over your dead Over body. my dead body. Mm. Over my dead body. If I don't have you, nobody will have you. Never. Nobody will. In never. Longi! 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 Did he hurt you? Did he hurt you? He did not hurt me. Lonji, 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 Emereki, 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 one can no co see a gee, Emereki, Emme, Emereki, Emme, Emereki, Emme, Lord Jasinki, Pacharanyagi, Emereki, Emme, God, where are you? Chim the beckon, life is so harsh on me. So painful, so painful. She won't be there in a fire. Na na na! Wow. Hey, one person collect all this pity. Just one person. Sorry, I, no, I, I just, just imagine, just one person. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just I know behind from my mouth. I'm sorry. Huh? You, you, you needed to have been there. You needed to have been there to see the kind of beating I gave to that guy. Do you know that was a blow he wanted to send direct to my face? I dodge it. <laughs> On coming up, eh? Moe up a court. So you even beat him at all? I want for you. By now, that guy should have should be in the hospital. Or oh, if what I did to him didn't affect him very well, chemist. Come <laughs> Well, I can't wait. You say enough, enough. enough. Ebu lu mago, ebu lu mago. All this na laka na laka ebu mago. See, if you don't have anything very meaningful to say here, just start going now, ah. Uh, okay, don't worry. Sorry, eh? Uh, please let me be going. Now. I left something on the fire. Hmm? If you step out and inch here now, uh, Mugu. All, all you know in this your life is to smoke weed and now it's okay now. And Jones, my man, it's okay now. This one way you come the parallel, like, it's okay. So, what's up? How do we deal with that in jail that did this to you? No be waiting at the expect you to talk since. You come there, come there, but I am. I'm sorry, I'm sorry now. What's up with you now? I'm sorry now, Baba. I'm sorry. Don't I beg, where Carlo there? Carlo, um... Carlo. Carlo. See, see. This thing way too often that they do not go well. Sometimes if they be me like say when I don't they deviate from the mission. What's up? Now when are they plan on revenge? Both of you suppose they my side. How hey, what you come back on be my man now? Give me missy. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Baba, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, forgive us, okay? Uh, no, I won't love. No vice are there, yeah? We don't want uh, make her go see Carlo now. We'll come see you later. Yeah. Better, better, better. Alright, see you later. They were well, long. Lonji, 
You saved my life yet again. Ujuka, I promised not to let any harm come on you. I'm here to protect you. And I promise you, that fool will face the full weight of the law. Okay? I can't wait for him to leave this village. I've had a fair share of his torments. I understand how you feel. But trust me, he's going to feel the rot this time. I'll make him go to jail for a very, very long time. I promise you that. Where's your brother? He's going to the farm. I told him to never leave you. How much do I have to give him to always stay with you and take care of you? Mr. Eric, you have done more than enough for my brother and I. Can we ever repay you? Ujuka, just call me Eric, okay? And the only way you can pay me back is to stay safe because I, I care about you. I don't want anything to happen to you. Okay? You are my guardian angel. The one my Chi has sent to comfort me. I cherish the day we met. Though I may have existed for too long in my world of darkness, but I felt the heavens open and blessed the clement weather on that faithful day. Meeting you was divine, Eric. And my instincts have never failed me, not even for once. I feel the same way. Sorry, I have to take this call. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> okay. How many bags of cement? Okay, I'll be with you shortly. Just wait. Alright. Juka. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I have to go back to work. I have a lot to take care of. Um, I, I promise to come back soon, okay? Please don't keep me waiting. I, I won't keep you waiting. And um, please, when you get inside the house, kindly lock the door, okay? Do I have to help you inside? No, 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 this is my house. Are you sure? Are you sure I shouldn't help you into the house? This is my house. I know everywhere. <laughs> you can find your way? Yeah, of course I can. All right. I'll see you shortly. Okay? Stay safe. All right. Take care. Angie, I'm really worried about my fate with Eric. I don't understand. What do you mean? Do you know, it's been more than three weeks now since we last spoke on the phone. Okay. I thought you said he traveled to one remote village for a house project. Eh, uh, that's, that's true. But we were communicating the first few days he traveled and all of a sudden, he stopped calling me. Okay, so why don't you call him instead if he doesn't call you? Really? You think I have not been doing that? Oh my goodness. I have been calling Eric back to back, but he has not been picking my calls. Angie, I'm so scared. I don't want to lose him. Look, Tina, you're just scared for nothing. I think you should give him space for him to do his job. You never can tell what he's passing through in that village. But at least he should call me. 
call me and check on me. Is that too much to ask for? By the way, are you now living in his house? No. Okay. I only went there for the weekend, thinking maybe he would just, you know, breeze in and spend the weekend with me. But now, Avel, I'm just tired. I, I, I will leave there in, first thing in the morning. You know what, Tina? You should be positive about your relationship with Eric. You never can tell what that guy is going through in that village. Just be patient, eh? And you know he loves you. I don't know why you're... You have to be positive. I'm positive about it. Okay. But you should call me now. He will. Just give him... Time. Okay? Okay. This is fun. Alright. trying to recover. Remy, don't tell me you are still grieving over the death of Linda. Come on, you don't have to. Tina, you know it's not easy. I, I, I loved her so much. I know, I know. I can't, I, listen, I understand you perfectly. But you need to stop all this. You need to get your life back. You need to love and be loved again. I mean, you need to be happy. Thank you. Please, Thank stop you. doing this to yourself. Okay? I'll try, okay? I'll you try. You just have to. I'll try. I have to. <laughs> um, I've been worried about Eric. Why? Uh, Ugona, eh? how would I met you here? I heard your sister screaming not long ago. Eh? My sister. Uh -huh. Sis, I can't believe that bastard I saw on my way to the farm was actually coming here to see you. But why, why did I kept on going? She should have returned home. It is not your fault. Sis, it's my fault. It's my fault. If I had your instinct, I should have sensed danger and returned immediately. Now Mr. Eric would be angry with me that I left you home alone. No, 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 no. He's not, he's not, he's not mad at you at all. Because I told him it is my fault. If I had gone inside like instructed, all these things wouldn't have happened. Eh? But I'm lucky that Mr. Eric came to my rescue. Otherwise, hey... Uh, Longi would have raped me today. It's open. Sister, I'm going to his place. I'm going to his house. Eh, 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 Biko, Ugo, Ugo, one name, sit. Biko, Biko, sit. Sit. I forbid you from going there. Mr. Rick has promised that he's going to handle Longi news for us. Biko, please. I've heard you. But I hope he didn't hurt you. He did not hurt me. I told you Mr. Eric came to my rescue on time. Besides, Mr. Eric got a call, but he said he will soon be back. Longinus! Longinus! <coughs> so you and your brother were right. The police department in charge of this part of town are tired of his notorious behavior. 
and they are looking for ways to put him down finally. But I intend to assist them. I intend to speak to a few friends of mine in the city to help. You don't have anything to worry about, okay? God created you on a Sunday morning. <laughs> Why did you say that? Because that was when he created everything beautiful, which includes you. You're such, you're such a good human. You have a beautiful heart and soul. Thanks for the compliments. However, I, I think I find you very interesting. You sound very intelligent. Yeah, I mean, you're beautiful too. Extremely beautiful. So I should say, God created you on a Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Eric. You are such a nice man. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So tell me, um, how did you go blind? It is, it is a long story. Well, I like long stories. <laughs> okay, if you insist. <sighs> so here it is. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who was fond of playing with sticks. She accidentally punctured one of her eyes and due to lack of medical attention she lost her sight that was what happened and I suppose the little girl is you of course. <laughs> yes, it is me sitting right here with you. <laughs> I'm really sorry to hear this. Okay. Oh, it is okay. It is fine. I mean, it happened a long time ago. I'm used to it now. I'm used to living in the world of darkness. to like my sister so much. I'm sorry I haven't said this to you, and this is going to be my first time to say it to you. Um, I'm interested in your sister, and something tells me she's going to be my wife. <laughs> Sorry. Do you want to get married to a blind girl? That's strange. What's strange about that? I mean, look at you. Um, you're handsome, fresh, you're rich. Why would you want to marry a blind girl? I hope you're not trying to take advantage of her, sir. Come on, no. Go now, no. As far from that, listen, I understand your fears and your concerns due to the, the times we live in, but I don't have any bad intention towards your sister. Listen, honestly speaking, right, what I feel for her is very genuine. I care about her so much. I want to protect her. I want to be her best friend. I want to take care of her. And please, Ugona, I want you to give me the chance to do that. Well, with everything you've been doing for us ever since we met you, shows you're a kind-hearted man. 
And please keep to your promise. Go now. Listen. I promise you, I'll do my best. I'll take care of her. Good care of her. And thank you so much for your level of maturity. It means a lot to me. Alright? Thank you too. You're welcome. Let me escort you to your car. That's fine. <laughs> so, we got talking and she she told me. listening to your conversation with him and why did you lie to him about how you lost your sight? Go. You know my story is such an unpleasant one. It is not everyone you should tell about your past especially when it's such an unpleasant story like mine. It's okay. Um, you seem to I've fallen in love with him, like... Hey, you think so? Yes. I, I know when a woman is deeply in love with a man. <laughs> Remember, I, I love Amara so much and I know how this whole thing works. Hey! <laughs> what do you think? Are you in support? You know, I... I support you 100% in everything you do in this life. I love you. It's a one name. <laughs> I love you too, Ugo. <laughs> Come here. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> well, my, my instinct tells me to go ahead. Already? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm here for you. Everything you want, I'll do. As long as it makes you happy. Thank you. You're welcome. So, let's go in. Okay. Hey. Life is so harsh on me. So, how are you doing, Sister Uchu? I'm bubbling by the special grace of God. You can see that. My brother will not cease talking about you. Hi. Really? Yes, yeah, so <laughs> he talks about you each time he wakes up in the morning and whenever he wants to sleep at night, he talks about you. Ah, hey, love. Mm. That's so sweet, really. I know. <laughs> mm. uh, by the way, mm. where is he? Is, oh. he, is he at home? He's gone to work on people's farms. Oh, as usual. <laughs> as usual. <laughs> okay. Such a hardworking young man. So, so hardworking. Yeah. And it's going to pay off someday. Amen. No. Amen. So I was, um, I was on my way to the house to mm. help out with the house chores. And I was also wondering if you have dirty clothes that needs washing. Hey, Amara. Munye one okay? Don't bother yourself, eh? Not to worry. You know my brother does virtually everything for me. No, me. it's no bother at all. It's it's no stress. In fact, I'm glad helping him. Okay, so just allow me to do this. I'm not complaining. Eh. Yeah. Mm. I say so. I say so. <laughs> okay. no. told me about your mother. Listen, Amara, you don't have to hate your mother, okay? She's only trying to protect you. No, she's not. She's just being wicked and unreasonable. 
I mean, there's no one in this village who doesn't know about Ugun and I. I don't know why my mom would just accept it and let us be together. Amara, she's your mother. And she knows the best. No, she doesn't. I hate... I hate her so much. Amara! Sometimes I just wish I was not... Stop it, Amara! You don't talk about your mother like that. Don't use such a word on your mother. You see, listen to me. Don't ever denounce your mother publicly simply because of a man. Let me be very honest with you. If my brother denounces my family because of a woman, I will be so mad at him. Very, very mad at him. Listen to me. If your chi says that you and my brother will be together, Trust me, it will surely happen. It will only take time. My brother will make money and come and marry you. Don't, don't ever regret being born by your mother or publicly denouncing because of a man. Hey, Mbanono, Amara, Odiroma, Odiroma at all. Don't ever say a thing like that again. Inugia. Okay, I've heard you, Sister Uchu. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the way I spoke. I was just upset. I love your brother so much and I can't imagine spending the rest of my life without him. And Ugona loves you too. Eh? He loves you. Not to worry, everything will be fine. I can't wait for you to become my sister-in-law. Just keep praying for him so that he can make money and come and marry you. You know, go. No, no, no. Thank you so much. I look. Oh my god. Sis, you look. Mm. You're so beautiful. And the dress looks awesome on you. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you are not exaggerating. No, 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 no. It's not. You actually look gorgeous in that dress. And sometimes I ask myself, why should a girl as beautiful as you are walk around blind? I have lots of questions to ask God. In other words, <laughs> the dress fits, right? You look absolutely beautiful. Thank right. you. I think I should I should take you on a date. 
What do you think? Are you going to let me do that? As long as you're going to take care of her. Of course, I am going to take care of her. <laughs> uh, Ugo, please help me pack the other clothes he bought into my bag. When I come back, I will try them on. All right, all right. Now, here you go. Yeah, so funny. This should be enough to buy you. Hey! Oh, dear lady. All this money for me. Thank you. No, so no, 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 it's okay. Get up, get up, get up. Shall we? I'm ready. Right. That reminds me. Um, I think it is time for me to see your uncles. What do you think? You ready for that? Absolutely. I am ready. Juka, what do you think? Are you ready for that? I'm ready. Right. <laughs> All right. Oh, let's go. Thank you so much for the shoes and the clothes. God bless you so much. You're welcome. Longie, 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 emereki eme. Onyo biyo, emereki eme. So saru rana juru yobi, emereki eme. Echi che yani nebi hoja, emereki eme. Wane keno nuko si agije, emereki eme. Emereki eme o. Emereki eme, loja singi pachara nyagi. Emereki eme, mpuronye kuru ya koga goro ina nuya. Eh, ajonda joka zeluya. Whatever you sow, that you must reap. Oh. Eh, Thank you for the clothes and the shoes. God bless you. This is what you want to do. Yeah. 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 Engineer, to block my view. Gonna get mine, block my view. I'll fuck that boy up. I'll go fuck that boy up, guy. You go see him. All you have, he knows you cannot shoot him. That's why he did that rubbish. Nampaya, I'm going to this guy now, a choir, but to put honestly, deal with him very, very well. Eh? I would suggest now me track this engineer now. Eh? I'll go to one shot. Let I go. One shot. Oyambu! Oyambu di kore! Oyambu! Mugu! Mugu! Look I track engineer. Now come one shot. Now when he deal with my babe, what if I misfire Mugu? What if I misfire? You don't have a suggestion. You don't have a phone who won't kill Sam Moses. But I say you don't use your, you don't use your beer, beer, the thing. Big. Ah, uh, I love that. The only person I need to deal with now is Ugunna. Yes. I've fallen now. That boy had to go to Gungajia. We got all together. What to go to Gungajia now? That boy on it, Jones. You got a photo that boy. Good night, baby. I'm 
Le Quenta HK. Lundi, lundi, lundi. Emere qui aime. Onyo Biocho. Emere qui aime. What's inside your bag? Side Come this way. Come this way. Let me start from your pocket. Are all these phones yours? Hope they're not stolen phones. What's in this your bag? Okay. It's clean. I think it's clean. You can, you can go inside. Hey, you. Step down with that bag. What's in your bag? Move. They let him search your bag. Now, why Come you here, young man. Let me see what's in your bag. Open that bag. My clothes. I, I went to buy clothes, sir. You went to buy clothes? All these clothes are yours. Yes, sir. Huh? Are you sure? Yes, sir. Ah, ah. What am I seeing here? Jesus! What's this? What's that? A young gun! Young man, who are you? I, I am a gunner. Who are you? What are you doing with a gun? A criminal. I'm, I'm not a criminal. What are you doing with a gun? I don't know. What are you doing with a gun? I don't know, sir. What are you doing with a gun? 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 to buy the clothes and shoes you gave him money for. You needed to hear the excitement in his voice. <laughs> That's nice. Um, how have you been? You okay? I'm very well, thank you. I told him to use Kekel and not Trek because he's used to trekking. He likes to sofa. <laughs> Uduka! Ah! Hey! Uduka! Hey! That's Amadi's voice. Amadi, you're kidding. Uduka! Something has happened to oh, Something has happened to Ogona, your brother. What? Who did Ogona offend? What Who happened did Ogona offend you? Who did he offend? What happened? Something very bad. Very, very bad. Something very bad. Yes. Did I hear How you bad? say? Did I hear you say Ugo, Ugo one name? Oh yes, oh. yes. Where, where, where is he? I'm going to take me to my brother. Wait, 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 wait. Take me to him now. What, what, what happened to him? Take me to go. Careful, careful. I'll be able to go. What happened? Where? Let's, let's, let's what go. What happened? Oh, wait, wait, wait.
actually saw him being beaten up by the vigilantes. Yes. Yes. You see, now, yeah. mm, I know that this vigilant boy is no good joy. One of their sister's name is Joy. After mending him, yeah. before he will stand on his two left legs again. Mm. Eh? <laughs> That's the punishment he <laughs> gets. Yeah. For trying to block me from killing that bastard. Imagine, he's now being tagged as the Newest criminal in town. <laughs> <laughs> newest criminal in town. You know what? But no. At least the vigilantes will remove their eyes on us. Do you understand what I'm saying? What no. Fuck up a line. And I'll pray to see on a very smooth ceiling. Now what for you? You know what? What no. I love you.
How does it feel to be a criminal? <laughs> How does it feel? Huh? Madam, officer, move! This guy, this guy is going to escape. Don't worry. He's a gang leader. Don't Do you know worry. that? The hearted one. I thought you were above the law. Huh? I thought you were above the law. Officer, officer. this guy is going to escape. Why, why are you still crying? I thought you promised to stop crying. Well, why don't you let God take control? Please. How am I supposed to stop crying? How do you expect me to stop crying when the only thing I have has been snatched from me? Our parent died when he was just 12. And since then, he's been the one taking care of me. My brother denied himself the pleasures of adolescence and wore the heart of adulthood just to take care of me. Ugoanim became responsible at an early stage. My brother could starve just to see me eat. Last night, I hear him cry to God to restore my sight. I wished to see how grown he had become. I wished I wished to give him a better life that fate had denied him. But how? How am I supposed to do all of those again? <laughs> my God, did God see how good my brother was? Did he see all his good deeds? Why did he take my brother away from me? Why didn't he let me do all of the things I had planned? Why? Why? Uchuka, I understand how you feel. I feel terrible myself. And I'm heartbroken to see your tears. But you need to pull yourself together. And trust God to comfort you. Please. They said they saw a gun in his bag. 
My brother is not a criminal. Ugoan name is not a criminal. Ugoan name cannot hurt a fly. Ugoan name is such a peaceful human. Everyone in this community knows how hardworking he is. Of course. Of course. He works on people's farms with all his heart. Listen, would you? <laughs> Yet they label my brother a criminal. <laughs> Why did they think of this before stoning an innocent man? Who goes hard work and who goes nothing criminal? <laughs> Uju, I strongly believe someone is behind all of these. The police, the vigilante group, they must explain to us why jungle justice was allowed on a boy who was innocent and had nothing to do with the gun found in his bag. They have a lot of explanation to do. <laughs> yes. And it is not far from Lord Genus. It is clearly his hard work. It is clearly his making. Exactly. It is Lord Genus. Yes. I put it to him that he's the one behind Ujuka, this. Ujuka, speaking about Lord Genus, he's in police custody right now. I got him arrested. He must pay for his mistakes. I promise you. I feel like I do my life. I feel like killing myself. You can't kill yourself. Listen, I'll protect you. I promise to do that. Please stop promising. Stop promising. Stop promising. You promised to be there for my brother and I. Why did you let them kill him? I, I, I'm sorry. I Stop making promises. It, it wasn't my fault. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You need to pull yourself together, okay? Pull yourself together. Let God take control. You can't keep crying for the rest of your life. Everything is going to be okay. I understand how you feel, but you need to give yourself some peace of mind. Oh God, where are you? Chim Ebekino. Life is so harsh on me. Why did you do that? So painful. So painful. She won't be there in a fire. Oh God, where are you? Ebekino. How much walking? Is that tears in your eyes? Walking. Oh, Mama. Who is dead? Oh, my man is dead. Mama. Is that why you are crying? Eh? Is that why you are crying? You should be thanking your chief that you didn't end up marrying that criminal. Yes, you should be grateful to them. They saved your life. <laughs> Didn't mercy. The news of his death is everywhere in, in the village. I'm aware of it. I've always known that something bad about that boy. Each time I see him, my instincts never lie to me. Ata cha cha. Ugo was not a criminal. I can vouch for him with my life. Ugo was not a criminal. Shut up before you get yourself killed. <laughs> Your own life. <laughs> Amacho, I have always known that you have a dull brain. I'm a nisi ya pochi ya pochi. Otherwise, there is no way you, Amarat, wouldn't have discovered that that boy, bo capital criminal that operates with gun. No diaba ni eche. But I don't want to understand that you, you are blinded by love. I don't want to understand. No, I wasn't blinded by any love. I wasn't blinded by love. Ugo was innocent. He was wrongly accused for what he did not do. 
You say all this because you don't know him. I know him so well. The man I fell in love with was not a criminal. He was not a criminal. If not, you are not here. Better get off from there and go fetch me water before I move a broom my own. But I can see. You won't lack anything. It's a promise. I will always be here for you whenever you need me. Say there is no evidence linking him to the gun that was discovered in Gunnar's bag. That's complete rubbish. How can they say that? How can they say that? He is known in this village as a very notorious person. We all know him. Everyone knows him. He carries guns. The vigilante, the police, even the Igwe, they all know the truth. But the thing is that they are all afraid of him. Come to think of it, there's no how the cults will convince him for a gun that he was never around when it was discovered. My brother, they all planned and carried out everything without a trace. <sighs> Honestly, this is unacceptable. And I'll ensure Uguna gets justice. I pray so. 
Longinus swore he would make my life a living hell on earth. He finally won. No. That's impossible. He can't win. Ujuka, listen, I intend to get some policemen from the city to take control of the situation. So you have nothing to worry about. He will pay for his mistakes, I promise you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the way I spoke to you the other day. I was sad and... I was sad and frustrated. It's okay. You don't have to apologize. I understand how you feel. And it's very normal to feel that way. So not to worry, everything is going to be alright. Okay? Besides, I have something important to tell you. Okay. So, I, I met with a doctor friend of mine. An eye doctor, actually. A good one at that. And, uh... I told him about your condition. He wants to see you. He asked a few questions. And one of them was, if you were born blind and I said no and he talked about surgery and eye surgery yes surgery yes he talked about an eye surgery to help you regain your sight I can see someone is glowing again. <laughs> it's really good to see you happy again. Honest. Thank you. You are very stupid. <laughs> I'm actually very, very stupid and foolish at the same time. 
What took you to that house again? I'm asking you. I was only going there to assist the blind girl who just lost her brother, who was a helper. Oh, you have turned to a helper. Amara Chupu, the great helper. That's your new name. Hmm? Mama. Mama, sometimes you speak without compassion. The girl is blind and she can barely do things on her own. I made her a promise to fill the gap her brother left behind by always being there for her. Why are you finding it so difficult to understand? Why? Chalo, made her a promise to fill the gap. Which gap? Did you listen to yourself? In a gap, we open a fire. Eta kwariyata webo. Eh? Eta kwariyata. Don't you know that going to that house will limit your chances of getting married to a good and rich man? Ubureke! Imano! Uche gya wara gya? If I see you in that compound again, gya kwente. If I see you in that compound again, Amara Chuku, you cease to be my daughter. Mama, don't mama me. Don't you want to call me mama also? Because I mean what I said, and I said what I mean. Simple. Has it gotten to that, Mama? Yes. Makaneda, we here. It has gotten to that. Hello, Are you okay? I'm trying to. Um, I'll be going to the city to buy some building materials for my work. I'll be leaving this weekend. You are leaving me for the city. I supposed to be here all alone. You are leaving me to, to, to get devoured by that beast. No. I will be vulnerable. Please don't leave me. I, I won't be gone for long. But do you know anyone you can trust to be with you until I return? No, 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 no. My brother was the only human I trusted. I, 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 I do not have... I, 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 yeah, I do not... your brother is gone now. Yes, he's gone and you know it. I don't have any other person to trust. Please don't leave me. Please. You, you have to find someone else to stay with you until I return. I, I, I don't have anybody. I don't have anybody I, I can trust. I understand, but I, I, I am not gone for too long. I, I'll be back before you know it. I just have to buy some work materials. Mm. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoying it. Thank you so much. So she said uh, you're the only person she can trust. That is why I brought her here, for you to take care of her. Uh, it's okay, I, I can take care of her. But the thing is that uh, she has to be living with me in my house, so that every morning, whenever I'm coming out to this bar, uh, I will always come out with her. Okay. Uh, I promise no harm will ever come to her. That's fine. But my only concern is... That foolish boy, does he come here to drink? Uh, yes, he does. But uh, I have never been scared of him. And he knows that. Okay. So, there's nothing for you to worry about. Okay, I hope so. You know, I I'm not only going to Lagos to buy some work materials. I'm also going to see a doctor friend of mine who's an optician. Yeah, so... Uh, we're trying to see ways to help 
Ujuka, you know, restore her sight. Huh? You mean she still have the chance of seeing again? Yes. Hey. Because she, she, she wasn't born blind. Oh, I'm so happy. Her parents will also be happy in their grave if you can do it. Well, I believe God. I believe God is in control. We're only going to try our best, but I know God is in control. Amen. Yes. Amen. Thank you so much. So, when are you leaving? Uh, I'll be leaving today, actually. Okay. Right. Um, Ujuka, are, are you fine with, with uh, everything we talked about? Yes, I am. You're comfortable with him? Yes, I am. Are you sure? What are you doing here? I came to spend the weekend with you. You, you, know? you came to do what? Spend the weekend with you. You came to spend the weekend with me? Yes. Who did you call before coming here? Who did you call before coming to my house? I tried calling you, but to no avail. You tried to call me? Yes. Tina, I told you I had some projects to take care of, right? Uh -huh. Listen, I just came to rest and I'm back there tomorrow morning. I mean, you mean you're not spending the weekend with me? I just said I came home to rest and I'm going back first thing tomorrow morning. Please, I need to take a shower. Okay, I'll just make you a meal. What did you say? You I'll do what? I'll make you a meal. Did I tell you I was hungry? Did I tell you I was hungry? Please leave my house first thing in the morning. What's wrong with him? What are you doing? I'm trying to get you in the mood. You have to stop. My mind is troubled. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not cut out for all of that right now. Why? Okay, so I'm a little bit frustrated, okay? My business is going down. Things are not working like I want them to, and it's costing me a lot, so, yeah. Okay, I, I get it. I'm so sorry about that. But you just have to calm down and re-strategize. Re-strategize? Mm -hmm. I was trying to do that, but you keep distracting me. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. Just that I was trying to do my girlfriend duty. Tina. Yep. I understand you care about me. Okay. Okay. I do too, but this is not the right time to do all of this. I'm not, I'm not fit mentally for all of this because I told you about my business. Besides, I feel like we're rushing things. Honestly, I feel like there's nothing between us right now. We need to take things easy, one step at a time, go slow and steady and, you know, work things out. 
to ensure that no one gets hurt. Okay, one step at a time, please. Please. Okay. Where are you going to? Where are you going to? sleeping by now. It's already late. You know, I can't tell the difference between day and night. How dark is the night? Very dark, especially by this time. Um, the crickets, aren't they going to sleep? There is moon outside and, uh, you know, crickets don't sleep at night till morning. Let's go inside so that you can rest your bones. Mr. Mardi, thank you. Thank you for accepting me into your home. Though it is risky. You summoned courage to protect me. Thank you once again, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. But I want to let you know that I am not scared of that idiot called Longinus. And I will never be. If he thinks that he's man enough, let him come to my house. And I will make do the promise of sending him to his grave. About Mr. Eric, the engineer, have you heard anything from him? Uh, did he tell you when he will be back? Um, not really, not really, but I, I don't think he's going to stay long in the city. Because I know quite sure that uh, he has a project here in the village. And I believe by now, his workers must have been waiting for him. Okay, sir. I, I don't feel sleepy yet. Let me keep listening to the crickets. Assess her first and know the next step forward. Okay. Um, thank you, Doctor. You know, I, I I wanted to consult with you first before bringing her over. But uh, I'll do that as soon as possible. I'll bring her over. This closeness, 
there must be something to it. There must be an interest. Um, doctor, you're actually right. Um, she's so special to me. And I, I made her a promise that I'll speak to a doctor friend of mine who would um, do everything in his power to ensure that her sight is restored. And that's why I'm here. It's all right. We are going to do our best and leave the rest for God. No problem, sir. Um, God has it for the final fit. That's fine. Thank you, Thank you so much, doctor. I'll, I'll bring her over. It's okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank strong. you. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right. She's in safe hands. No problem. Thank you. All right. Amadi, why are you staring at me? How do you know I, I was staring at you? I may be blind, but I can feel and my sensitivity is... Oh, well, 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 you're right. I was staring at you. But why though? I, 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 am I not properly dressed? No, you properly dressed. It's just that I, I'm wondering the way you were able to get some good clothes from your bag, and uh, the way you dressed very well. My brother was the one who dressed me up those days, but now I, I, I understand. Just like I, I said before, I was actually wondering how you were able to dress yourself properly like this. I hope you are not exaggerating. No, 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 no. no. I, I'm not. I, I'm saying the truth. Okay. Is there something I should know? Something like what? I, I, I don't. Uh, 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 no, no. Never mind. Let's let's go to your shop. Your customers will be waiting.
I know you're very intelligent and I know that you know what is going on around you despite the fact that you're not with your side. I have been having feelings for you for some time now but I, I couldn't say it because I don't know how you will feel, I don't know how you're going to take it and I was so surprised the other day when your brother Gunna told me that uh, you are now dating the engineer. Then I, I now noticed that I, uh, that I, I would have told you about my feelings. I regretted it actually, but uh, I just decided to take you as a family. You should have said this uh, a long time. I mean, earlier before now. I, I am already dating. I know. I goofed, but I. It's okay. I, I can. I, I, I can leave your house if my presence is hurting your feelings. No, 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 no! Please, please. You don't have to say that. Don't say that at all, please. I see. I. I I have deleted the feelings I had for you. Hmm? I have deleted the feelings. I, I have now taken you as a family. Okay? Please, never you open your mouth and say that you want to leave my house. Hmm? In fact, I am beginning to like the engineer. He, he seems like a good man. Alright? It's okay. And I promise that I will, I will protect you. No harm will ever come to you. Okay? Lonji, 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 Emereki, Eme. Onyo Biojo, Emereki, Eme. Sosaharu Rana Juru Yobi, Emereki, Eme. Echiche Yani Nebi Hojo, Emereki, Eme. I'm sorry. I smell danger. Danger? Yes, I, I know that smell. I smell someone with an awful smell. It's not genius. I know. It's not genius and he's here with a gun. Eh? Let's run away. Come on. No, 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 no. Let's no, run away. No, Let's no, run no, away. No, no. Please. Calm down, calm down. Come, come. come. He's coming with a gun. Come. Let me, let me take you somewhere and hide you. Okay? Then I'll face him. It's okay, it's okay. No, no. Let's run, let's run. Easy, 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 easy. Amadi! Yeah. What do you want? What are you doing in my bar? Amadi, I'm you the red shoulder for. Amadi, Longinus, they stand before you. You the red shoulder. Hey, Amadi! What did they give you morale, self? No, no, wait. For this village, what did they give you morale? Well, on Jinu's day. I've been a small, small money where they make from your pepper soup and Pamina, I make you the eat what for me. Amadi, I don't want to get a problem with you. I go shoot you. Amadi, I go lie to you. Person, you won't shoot person. You don't talk too much. If you want to shoot me, shoot me. If you don't say you be man, if you're man enough, shoot me. Now me there here, shoot me! Go get my woman now! No, shut up! What will you do? What will you do if I don't get your woman? What is wrong with you? You think you can enter here with your gun to threaten me? Eh? Is that what you think? I'm a, uh, you, you don't the you don't the you don't the be you don't the bugana. See, highest na three days for police cell, but man, I'm light. I get phone on him now. Go get my woman. I go shoot you. Shoot me. Madi, I will shoot you. Shoot me. Madi, I will if, shoot you. If you're mad enough, shoot me. What about the other? Never mind. What about I'm going to demand enough. 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 I'm going to demand enough.
Cook Abo. Amadi, if I come back for you, if I come back for you, and you don't provide my girl, Amadi, it is high time I left you. I have endangered your life too much. Let me go and face my fears. Please. He will get what he wants. If I let you go. So be it. I, I, I don't care if he has me for breakfast, lunch or dinner. I don't care. I can't keep running. I can't keep living in constant fears because of him. He can have my carcass if that's going to make him sleep well at night or have his peace. It's, it's okay, it's okay. Enough. Stop saying this. Stop. I will never let you go. I will never ever let you go. Just stop saying this. Can't you see? Can't you see? He will kill you. He will kill you if you don't let me go. Juka, when will you understand that I am never scared of Lord Genius? I am not scared of him. Besides, I, I promise the engineer that I am going to take very good care of you. And I am keeping to that promise. Just talking about the engineer. He's refused to come back. Why is he not back? Why? Who knows what's keeping him? Who knows what's holding him there? But let's just pray and uh, hope that he comes back soon. Okay? Listen, nothing will happen to you. No harm will ever come to you. Okay? But he promised. He promised. He promised he would stay for too long. I'm actually worried about him. I am sick worried. Oh God, where are you? Chim nebekino. Life is so harsh on me. Sure, both of you are joking. Mother is joking now. He now has a gun. Yeah? You mean he has a gun now, or he still possesses his grandfather, big great grandfather's then gun? Which one? Then gun. Galon, the gun now gone. So far, say fifty person. Shut up, shut up, shut up. They are so. Well, I don't blame you now. I don't blame you. You have never been to even on it here. Talk more of. Naimon Baibio too. No! Let me ask you. Imon Baibio Boki 11 guy. Do you know what I have? You think that thing is called gone? Guy. 
what I have inside street, it is called 14. If you call them 14, everybody gonna say you know what you talk. Nine millimeters on where it will penetrate from front, it will peg back. You don't know what I have now. What are you saying? See, let me tell you, eh? Amadi no be waiting to bother me now. No be Amadi be my problem. My problem is why that man, that man that went to the city, is not back yet. That's my problem. Or could it be that he has run away? He's no longer interested in my woman. I don't know. It's, it's, in fact, it should better be because me, I foresaw it coming. <laughs> so may you know. So what do you suggest we do now? The life I get, man. This guy. What's in the world? What's in the worry you? I don't tell you, sir. I'm not be my problem. But how can I go to bother my brain now? I get what's in the bother me now. See, let me tell you, Amadi is not worth my bullet, my abba. No, my bullet is expensive. If I get Amadi, I go kill Amadi with his own gun. What can you do with your guy? You make No, no, no. I am happy you're here. I thought for a second that you've abandoned me. You know that's never possible. How can you say a thing like that? You know I can never leave you. I, I mean I had a lot to do in the city, so. Uh, but guess what? What? I'm taking you to the city. Really? Yes, we're going to the city together. Hey! Are you serious? Yes. So I, 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 I am finally leaving this this village. Exactly. Away from, away from um, Longinus Ridge. Absolutely. Out of his sight. Right. And he's going to be very disappointed. He's going to be very heartbroken when he realizes that you're unreachable. Hey. <laughs> just, just one thing. What is it? I, I just wish for one thing. I wish my brother was living with me. Everything is going to be okay. I promise you. All right? Hmm? Uh, when are we leaving? Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know how to appreciate you for taking good care of her. Thank you so much. May God bless you. I don't need any gift or money from you. All I need from you, engineer, is for you to take very good care of her. Mm -hmm. She's so special to me. Please, don't you for any reason make her shed tears. You know she has really gone through a lot in life. Please, I, I don't want her to go through any pain again. I will continue to pray for you. Amadi, thank you for your kind words. You're a good man. You have a good soul. Thank you so much. Mr. Amadi, thank you. Thank you for being nice and understanding and very accommodating. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate everything. You're welcome. 
So, Mr. Madi, I have good news. I'll be going to the city with her. Uh, the doctor asked me to come with her. Yes, she needs to be examined. And that way we can find out what the problem is. You don't mean it. Hey! Thank you so much. May my God bless you. That's fine. Thank you so much. I, I, I can't wait for Sister to be I feel the same way. I'm doing everything humanly possible to ensure that she sees again. By the grace of God, she will see. No so, what do I offer you? I have uh, the, the soup, I need it, and uh, my wife. Which one do I offer you? The soup. I should put that in it, and look like two. Are you serious? I do. Ah, I didn't know. She has gone to where? She has gone back to the city. Eh? Her man came back yesterday and uh, took her away to the city where you can never ever set your eyes on her again. If I this guy fuck go up now. Nah. Sister, this guy don't fuck up now. Nah. Amadi. Amadi. Where is my woman? I'm not lying to you. She has gone to the city. Amadi, where is my woman? Where is my woman? Amadi! Wait, 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 the carriage is going for this man. Wait, the carriage is going for this man, Nana. Amadi, where is my woman? Where is she there? Amadi. Amadi! I'm a D! I'm going to do sick to your lowest arm now. Fuck on this man! Fuck on this man now! Fuck on this man! Fuck on this man! Tell me what is in front of us. <laughs> I said six. Staircase. Okay, go Go up. Go up. Go up. One step up. Up. Okay. Are you cold? Oh, are you okay? Give me the rush now. I'm right here for you. What? Where are we? You're in my house. 
really? Yes. It feels... Different. Peaceful. Just like you. Listen, don't worry. Very soon, you would regain your sight. So you can see this beautiful house I have brought you to see. Is that okay? I can't wait. I can't wait. I know. <laughs> I'm coming. Okay, turn around. Okay, tell me. Tell me what we have in front of us. Ah, oh, don't touch it with the stick. Okay, let's go. Careful, careful. Oh yes, I, I prepared the food myself. I mean, I don't have a cook or a chef, so I, I do the kitchen chores myself. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You are such a good cook. Really? Thanks for the compliments. <laughs> Just like my father. My father was equally a good cook. I envied his cooking skill. Oh. <laughs> and Gunnar as well. Gunnar was a good cook. Oh, Gunnar too, huh? Yes. Speaking of Gunnar, I think I miss him a lot. I do. I mean, something tells me that he is in a happy place. He is actually smiling down on you. He is watching over you. And he is happy with you. And uh, I'm very excited you left that village. Don't you think Ugona will be happy with you for leaving the village? Every breath I draw from my lungs yearns for him. Right. I wish I could turn back the hands of time. Well, fortunately, you can't. Yeah. He's in a better place. I know. I don't, I don't know what... I don't know what I've done to deserve you. Juka, I should be the one saying that to you because I don't know what I have done to deserve you. You're like a diamond. You shine so bright. <laughs> Do you know that? You're very beautiful. You're very light skinned. Oh, you both? I brought you to my room for you to feel very comfortable. I want you to relax, okay? And feel very comfortable. This is your house. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, um, please, uh, please don't, don't, don't go. The night is cold and lonely. Please, stay with me.
please. I'd love to, but I'd rather wait for your sight to be restored, okay? I want my face to be the first thing you see when you wake up in the morning, and my face to be the last thing you see before you go to bed at night. I love you. I love you too. What do you mean Eric is back in town? Yes, I saw him. No, Eric is not in town. I saw him myself. You been? <sighs> Eric came back and he didn't bother to call me to let me know that he's in town. Are you trying to say you didn't know if he was back in town? No, I'm you... not aware. There's something definitely wrong somewhere. Angie, I told you. But you never believed me. I told you that Eric is cheating on me. I mean, Eric is seeing another woman. I can feel it. I have these strong feelings that Eric is seeing another woman. I'm scared. Look, don't sound like that. I think you should go to his house and find out why he came back to town without calling you. Maybe he was trying to call you and then I saw him first. It's okay. I, I will have to go yeah, <laughs> and go help me if I find that, that, that bitch that wants to take my man away from me. Eh? <laughs> I will shred her into pieces. No, you won't do that. You're a woman and you need to protect your pride. Look, if Eric decides to dump you today, I'm sure you'll move on. You're a fine girl. Okay? So you don't have to go and fight any woman because of a man. So just I'm just I'm just I'm confused. Don't worry, just go there first. Go to the house first, okay? Just let me know. Viva, are you okay? Mm-hmm. Sure? Okay, I have to quickly get ready. We're going to the hospital as soon as possible. All right? Okay. You want something to eat? Mm -mm. I'm fine. You sure? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> All right. I'll be right back. Sorry. I heard voices. Yes, Eric. 
Who's she? Um, sorry. I, I heard voices. Yes, Eric. Who's she? Um. Huh? We, we need to talk in private. I'll go straight to the point. It is over between us. Listen, I, I made it clear to you. I said it consistently. I remember telling you that I am no longer interested, but you keep throwing yourself at me. Why? Eric, why are you talking to me like this? Why? After all that we shared. We shared nothing. Absolutely nothing. You've been the one throwing yourself at me. And I told you I am not interested. Listen, stop making me feel like a bad person. Because I'm a good person. I just told you I am not interested. Don't you understand? Why, why are you playing the victim when I, I am the victim? Listen, Eric. I love you and God knows that. Right. At least tell me that special woman. That, that special woman in your life that you had to let go of me for. I deserve to know. Oh, really? Yes. You want to know? Uh -huh. well, you, you have met her already. What? Yes, you have. <sighs> don't tell me you... Don't tell me you're, you're referring to that blind girl. Well, yeah. <gasps> that half-human! Oh, half-human? Human, you heard me! Really? Well, that half-human is actually more of a woman that you are. Do you understand? She makes me happy. She gives me peace of mind. Okay? She doesn't cheat on me. In fact, I am in love with her. And let me tell you something. I am not the type of man for you. Yes. Eric. Listen, every woman was created for that special man. And I, I am not your special man. Okay? And I know that you're pretty, you're tall, you have a dark skin, but some men don't like dark skinned women. Some men like yellow women. And I fall into that category. I know you're tall, but I don't like tall women. So go and look for your man. Leave me alone. Eric, wait! Wait, wait. Eric, open up. Eric. Eric, open up, please. Eric. Babe. Do you have someone else? Huh? Do you have someone else? Huh? Who was that? Why didn't you say anything in front of... Uh, I... I, I Why? was... Why didn't you say anything? No, baby, you don't understand. It's not what you think. Alright? I, I was trying to solve... Why didn't... Why? Why didn't you say anything? Why, when she asked you who I was, why didn't you say a no, word? No, no, baby, I, 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 I Why didn't you? I, I, listen, why? she... Who am I to you? She, she, she acts crazy sometimes. And no, I, why didn't you and say... And I, didn't want, I didn't want her to display that. You have a girl in the city and you didn't... Babe, wait. Babe, don't hurt us. Babe, wait. Listen, babe. Leave me alone. Babe, you have see. Hold on. You have another woman and... How did you know I was here? Because I could smell you from miles away. Just go away. Go away. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. Touch me. 
Babe, please, I, I want to explain. I, I know. What do you want to explain? What is it? What is it do you want to explain? Did what we share ever mean anything to you? <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. I mean, don't touch me! Don't! Don't! Babe, you asked the question. Let me at least answer you. <laughs> Another lie? Is that what you want to say? <laughs> yes, go ahead. Perhaps another lie. Taking advantage of my vulnerability <laughs> and toying with my emotions. Thank you. over Eric. Men like Eric are the ones who make women generalize that men are scum. <laughs> Look, there are other good men out there that you can always get. God, what did I not do for Eric? What? What did I not do to show him how much I love him? Yet he treated me like a nobody. A nobody. Dear God of vengeance, we we'll visit him and Eric will pay for everything that he has done to you. I can't believe this. Enjoy can't believe that my Eric chose a blind girl, a poor blind girl over me. Over me, after everything that, after everything that we shared. That has to tell you that he's demented and he doesn't even know what he's doing. Who does that? That guy is not normal. You don't have to kill yourself over him. That guy is not normal. He's not. I am happy you discovered him on time. So just move on. He doesn't deserve your tears. He's not worth it. It's not that easy. I can't. Know. Stop crying. I know. See, you're a strong woman. You can do this. I'm not a strong woman. I am not a strong woman. Dina, I, I am not you. a strong I woman. You. Stop. Stop doing this. I'm a strong woman. Stop. I'm a strong woman. I know, stop. You should have seen the way Eric treated me. The way he spoke to me in front of that girl. I've lost it. I have lost Eric, no doubt. Let him marry a blind woman and see the other side of life. A better person will come. Just to okay. keep. Okay. My friend, you're a strong woman. You know that. I'm not a strong woman. You are. I'm not. <laughs> I am no. not. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. I am not. <laughs> okay. Just smile. It's okay. Okay. Thank you. Put through this together. I'm not leaving you. to you, not the other way around. I'm sorry. Her name is Tina. I, I 
met her some time ago, you know, at the airport. We boarded the same flight, and uh, to cut a long story short, we've been we've been in touch since that time. She's been she's been all over me. She wants a relationship, but I don't. I can remember telling her that I'm not emotionally ready to, you know, get involved with her and. You know, I was honest with her. I told her every time. Sometimes she tries to, you know, make out and I say, listen, I'm not ready for this. And she says, why don't you like me? Don't you care about me? I, I said, listen, it's far from that. I have a lot of things I need to take care of. And sex is the last thing on my mind right now. So she just feels like, you know, I, I don't care about her. But the truth is, I don't have anything to do with her. We don't share anything. She just comes around and tries to be, you know, my friend, my girlfriend, whatever it is. But I don't reciprocate because I don't really like her. And everything changed when, when I met you. and So I felt like it wasn't right to always have her come around when I know that you're in my life now. I, I told her off today and I told her it was over. She should go look for someone who would, you know, make her happy because I'm not that person, obviously. And I really didn't want you to know. I wanted to just go to her house and tell her off before she eventually showed up here today. So I, I, I am sorry. Did you promise her marriage? No, I didn't. I can't promise to marry someone I don't love. That's impossible. Listen, I'm sorry for everything, right? It's not my intention to hurt you or... It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry, like I said. I, my anger got the better part of me. Right. <laughs> um, I was only mad that you didn't tell me about her from day one. I was going to do that before she showed up. But it's nothing because there's absolutely nothing between us. It's okay. Please take me to the hospital. Yeah, I'll do that right now. tomorrow or the day after. So why are you being paranoid? Can't they come and come? Wait, wait, I know, I know, but, but I'm not used to comfortable doing this in his house. But why are you doing this now? I'm in the mood already, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me stop. I'm gonna stop learning. in a slot. I don't ever want to see you in my house or anywhere around me. Then get your hands off me. Get off of me. Don't touch me. Don't let me see you anywhere around me. Else you regret yourself. Go you there. I will slap you. Don't ever want to see you again. I'm sorry, baby. I love you.
And please, we're here to see Dr. Martins. Sir, he's not available. He'll be around by 1 p.m. By 1 p.m.? Yes, sir. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll just give him a call. around. Don't be that they run this village again. I mean, people don't take over. Make I know now. Because I'm gradually losing interest. I don't they lose interest for where both of them are day. Uh, Baba, you will soon be back. I swear to God Almighty, eh? I will smoke up. Eh? I will smoke up. I will smoke up. I swear. Just they beat me like I can't choke you something safe. Don't beat me like I can forget this one for your body safe. Now we don't know how you go wise. Person where you know if you notice when he die around. Now you go go collect water for you. You demand. You know what? I don't change my mind. Huh? Yes. I don't change my mind about killing him. Huh? Yes. I've changed my mind. I've got something else to do. Eric, honestly, I have examined her. We have lots of work to do on her. Lots. Really? I knew it. I knew it was going to be a fruitless attempt. Hey, what do you mean by that? Babe. It's okay. My dear. Don't talk like that, okay? You are going to get your sights back again after passing through due process. Um, doctor, when you talk about due process, do you mean the surgery? Exactly. So that she can regain her sight again. It's possible. Really? Yeah. But again, is on 50-50 basis. Is that she regains her sight? Or Doctor, I am willing to take the risk. Um Uchuka, do you want to think about this 
thoroughly before you make that decision. No, 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 no. I, 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 I am ready. I, I know what I'm going into. I will take the risk. I will. I will get to see the beauty of this world again. My dear, I like your spirit. Honestly. Eric. Look. Permit her to do the surgery. <laughs> Permit her? Doctor, it's not in my power to do that. I mean, she has accepted to do the surgery, so that's fine. I can't wait. I'm here. My dear, you're going to behold the world. Surgery. Okay, thank you. I know what's on your mind. I know it is filled with uncertainty and fear. But not to worry. I'll be fine. Mystic that this this will be a success. Forgive me. I know I have no show of confidence. But that's because I care about you so much. I love you so much and I don't want anything to happen to you. Nothing will happen to me. I would love you to be the first person I would behold once I regain my sight. to be with you all through this journey. I can't wait to hear you tell me what I look like when you see me. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you know the answer already. Whatever I will tell you will not be far from the truth. So the doctor said the surgery was successful. Really? Yes. Uh, so let me take off the bandage. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Why? Because the doctor said it's going to take about three days for it to heal. Okay? Why the delay? I want you to be the first person I would behold once I take them off. I understand, but that's okay. I mean, it's their procedure and you can't go against it. Listen, I'm still here. I'm going to be here until you recover. So I'm still going to be the first person you'd see when you wake up. Hmm? Okay. I really can't wait to show you to my people. Speaking of which, you hardly talk about your people.
well that that's true and I'm sorry I hardly talk about them but for a reason the truth is I'm an orphan I was raised by my foster parents they picked me up from a motherless baby home Aww. yeah and um, unfortunately they died in a car crash Aww. leaving me with their only son my brother my stepbrother so I call him Aww. I'm so sorry I'm so sorry. That's okay. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have asked her. That's no, okay. I would have still told you. Even if you didn't ask. It's alright. I um I can't wait for you to meet my brother. I can't wait to meet him. <laughs> I love you so much. Here. I can't wait for you to see my brother. I can't, I can't wait to. It's okay. Um, can I get you something to eat? No, 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 no. I'm mm. fine. Not to worry. I don't feel hungry. I'm, I'm still basking in, you know, in the euphoria of the whole surgery thing. I'm still excited. But you haven't eaten all day. I, I'm not hungry. Alright. I have to go and see the doctor. He asked me to come back and see him. Um, I have to go and know why he wants me to see him. Okay. Please don't stay too long, okay? I won't, but you have to promise me one thing. Okay. When I leave this room, promise me you won't untie the bandage. <laughs> okay, I promise. <laughs> I promise. You shouldn't do that. Mm, okay. <laughs> hmm? Okay. Are you sure? I promise. <laughs> You'll be going against the doctor's instructions if you untie the bandage. Now I know. I won't. Promise. I promise. Okay. Oh, sh sorry. I'm bashful. Doctor, I I need to rush home. I have to quickly prepare and go to the site in the village. I was told some of my workers are having issues, so I need to go and calm things down. Wow. You really have to rush to the village immediately. Yes, I have to. Um, doctor, you said um, Ujuka's recovery is going to take a few days. Um, so I want to seize this moment to quickly rush to the village to sort things out before she you know, regains consciousness. You know, I promised her I'll be the first person she sees when she regains her sight. And I want to keep that promise. But I'll come back uh, before she recovers. Is that right? Yeah. It's okay. All right, doctor. One more thing. Um, can I get someone to um, take care of her before I come back? You know she's an orphan and she doesn't have any family around her. Is it possible to get someone um, to, you know, take care of her and ensure she? Sure. Eric, you are like a son to me. Like you so much. Just consider it to I'll get somebody to my company. Thank you very much, Dr. Lee. Thanks. I, I appreciate this. I really do. Thank you. I'll be on my way. Have a safe trip. Thank you very much. Dr. Thank you.
Banji, Emereki Eme. Onyo Bioja, Emereki Eme. Sasa Harura na Juru Yobi, Emereki Eme. Echiche ya nine bihojo, Emereki Eme. Wane keno nuko si agije, Emereki Eme. Emereki Eme o, Emereki Eme. Loja singi pachara nyagi, Emereki Eme. Mpuro nye kuru, ya koga woro, inanu ya. Whatever you sow, that you must reap. Oh, I don't a for us. On doit s'y pour la serre nous s'y faire. Hmm. Petit carré, il combien Ça. Hmm. Tu connais ce mail, là Something smell pass me. Where are you from here? The engineer. And you waiting? Yeah. You see engineer? No, no, no. For where? I'll be there one or two, so I'll see and pass. My best now, so I'm on top of you. What? Which way? Which way? Which way? Go over here, Kwanu. Uh, nobody you thought say you know kill him. You sure I got the change? Can you today my mind? I don't change my mind. Show me where you see that man now. Uh, before we go, as an information minister, I mean they push the you know. So allow me just me two minutes. I go off road. Then we'll be back again. Hey man, go show me where you see it now. They go, come on, they go. They run, they run, they run. Doctor, is that you? Yes. How are you doing today? Um, it's just slight headache. <laughs> you don't have to worry. It's, uh, it will go. The headache will go in no distant time. It's normal with operations. It happens. It normally happens like that whenever you have surgery. Okay? But well, you got nothing to worry about. Doctor. Uh, doctor, please, where is my man, Eric? I, I'm hungry now. I would love to eat now. Mm, Eric just stepped out. But he'll be back soon. Okay, Doctor. Meanwhile, I've ordered somebody to go and get something for you to eat. Thank you, Doctor. My dear, I think you should focus more on having adequate rest. We just had a successful surgery. Major surgery for that matter. Okay? Okay, Doctor. My dear, you are indeed a fighter. Yes. My gratitude goes to God and you. No. Your gratitude should go to God and God alone. Yes. I can't wait to take this off. <laughs> and I can't wait to behold your face full again. You are such a kind man, and your words are kind. Thank you. It's okay. Uh, just rest while I go to arrange the food for you. Okay, Doctor. All right. Thank you. I'll be back in a jiffy. Thank you, Doctor. All right. It's okay. It's okay. So, so the surgery um, was successful. Oh! And by the grace of God, um, she'll be fine.
Thank you so welcome. much. You you really done well. No, it's okay. If not for you, no one else can do this for Ujuka. I, I mean, she's going to be fine. Okay. The surgery went well. The doctors uh, say she's going to be fine oh, by the grace of God. So God. so let's just expect and uh, wait for her recovery. Yeah. Jai, jai. I'm so I'm so happy. You're I'm welcome. So happy. No, I should be thanking you actually because you had her interest at heart, which makes you a good person. You see, so it it is well. It is well. It is well. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Oh, that's the doctor calling me. Okay. Hello? Hi. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's fine. Alright, thank you. Hope, hope all is well. Yeah, everything is fine. Uh, listen, I'll be seeing more of you. Okay? okay? Just let me know if you need anything. No okay. No problem, eh? Thank you. I have to rush. <laughs> You're welcome. Take care. You're welcome. God bless. Uh, bless you too. All right. Yeah. Uh, bye bye. Oh. Yeah. Uh, my regards to uh, Ujuka. No problem. She'll be fine. Uh, I'll tell her. Okay. Take care. You're welcome. Yeah. Shaking. Ah, uh, no shaking. Hey, Baba, I'm fine. You never chose this one, you know. 
Come on, my, my stomach, they make noise. How far now? I'm going to put you now. Guy, what's in the soul? I'll be your papa. I'll be your papa now. We're not going to talk again. We're going to talk now. What's up? Huh? We're going to talk now. I'm not going to talk to you. I believe you. Now, if you don't know something. Water. 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 No, you need water, eh? Water. Okay, let me check if my urine is still there. Let me give it to you. Uvarobo! Sit down. I wonder. Vom, vom, vom. Hey! Vom, vom, vom. So, what, so, what? Mm. If you like, you can buy a million. Mm. One wonder because mommy, your mommy was based on the mommy. You are. Mm. I you want to We don't fuck up now. I see you like this. Uh, you still dig it. Water. I need some water to drink. You need water? Please. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. I need some water to drink. Do you care for my urine? Water. Okay. Guy up with that thing because we'll go call the news. What? No, 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 no. No. Please don't call him. Don't call him, please. Listen, I promise to give you any amount of money. Please, don't call him. Listen, if you let me go, I promise not to involve the police. I promise. Please. Don't just ask me, Gabi. For your mind will be fools. No, no. I, I, I never said you're fools. I know you're a smart man. I know you're a good man. But please, just let me go. I promise to give you some money. I have some money. I'll give you some money. Please. Please, just let me go. I have an important place to be at right now. Please, please. <laughs> I see. Huh? I guess you're missing her, right? Huh? You want to be with her, right? Even when you know that she belongs to our boss. Wanda, you are a big fool. Wallahi. Is she the only girl in this world that you cannot remove your interest in her? No. Eh? Bro, I will slap her. That ball on Junius, go call on Junius Abel. Okay, go and call him. I don't think he eat bread and that they cook. They tell me to make her go call him. I go call him. Eh? I see the job, go call him. Yo, listen to me. Pay attention. I have money. I can give you money. Just let me go, bro. Please. Hey, yeah, go call on Junius now. Stay the job. Um, Carlo, hmm? watch this idiot. Standing by. I don't want him to escape, okay? Standing by. Did you hear what I said? Standing by. Watch him very well. Standing by. Bro. Hmm? My brother. Hmm? You, have, you look like you have a good heart. Hmm? I can give you two million. Hmm? Two million. Hmm? Think of what two million can do for you. Why is he not here yet? You mean Miss Eric? Yes, Mr. Eric, the man who brought me here. He said he will be back shortly. Up until now, he hasn't returned. I saw him drove up in the early. Uh, nurse, I, I need him by my side now. I need him. Oh, please, nurse, can someone put a call across to him, please? Come, darling, go and inform the doctor. Okay, nurse, thank you.
What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Hmm. Nice question. Nice question. Where is my woman? Huh? Okay, where is my woman, Ojuka? Your woman? Where did you take my woman to? I, I, I took her to the city. Eh? To restore her sight. I took her to the city to restore her sight. See this man? Did I beg you? No, did I, did I beg you? Did I beg? Wait, 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 wait. Did I beg you? Wait, wait, wait. Please, 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 please. I was only trying to be nice. Wait, 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 Go restore his sight, then you go come back. Eh, now me restore your sight, now me you go marry. Sister, I don't know your plan. No, 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 bro, bro. Listen, listen. I was only trying to be nice. I swear, I swear. Nice, see, bro. I, I swore my life. I was only trying to be nice. Nice, see, bro. Listen, a, a surgery, a surgery was performed on her as we speak. I took her to the city so she can, she can restore the sight. I was only trying to help. Nice. Listen to me. You will go back to the city and bring back my woman the way you took her. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? I'm tapping into now. I'm tapping into now. Muku. Sky no no me. Never call. Never call. It's not my boy. See me see if I am boy. You just some of my fine boy. You just some of my fine boy. I was only trying to help. No. Come on, look out here. Have you got? I see the bee now. Yes. What now? What's up, bro? How far now? Bro, wait him play. Listen, you have to believe me. Okay. I was only trying to help her. I see. Help me. I see. Please. You care for this? Do you care for this? Please, go ahead. You care for this? I was only trying to help her. Oh, come on, shut up. Shut up! You're blind. Shut up! Oh my dear, I heard his car was found in the middle of the road. It's nobody in it. You mean he has been kidnapped? Eh? Well, even the workers are looking for him. They said he went to go and get money till now nobody has seen him. Hey! I hope he's safe wherever he is. Oh. Let him be safe, oh. You know who did it? Ranjin Usabi? Bring your voice down. You know how scared our people can be of him. And no one can point fingers at him. Please, bring your voice down. Because all of you in this village can be scared of him except me. I am not scared of him. Let me tell you something. I will make sure I search his house thoroughly. What did you say? I said I will search his house thoroughly. I said, what do you say? Remember you told me how he attacked you the other day. Please, be careful. Respect yourself, Amade. <laughs> hey. This longinus of a boy, this longinus has beaten more than he can show in this village. See, eh? I will make sure that he's being fished out and punished. Oh, I'm in a villager. Um, he must be fished out and punished. Amadi, I'm not here when he said this. Biko, I did not tell you anything. We did not discuss anything. Please be careful. I'm going. Be careful, Amadi. Yeah, yeah. I'm not here. Amadi, I'm not here. Yeah, I'm, going. Go, I'm going. Go away. a million naira each if you let me go and I promise not to involve the police or press charges on you. I swear on my life. You don't want to shut up, Abby. You want me to slap you, right? 
You want me to give you a dirty slap? Nonsense. Two million is a lot of money. Think about it. <laughs> and I look hungry to you, right? No, I didn't say you're hungry. I just made an offer. You know what? I'll make it 2.5 million. 2.5 million naira. From me to you, think about what that money can do for you. That money can change your life. You can actually leave this village and go somewhere else. Become a new person. Start a new life. Think about it. It's a good offer, bro. Can't betray Longinus. What? Yes. He's a good man and a good friend. And I'm loyal to him. I can't. No, no. I can't. Bro, listen to me. Can I ask you a question? How much does he pay you? Why are you doing this job? 2.5 million is a lot of money to make you stop this. It's going to change your life. You go somewhere else and change your identity, become a new person. Think about it, it's a good offer. It's a good offer. Now stop the talk. Oh. Stop talking, I'll go slap you. Just stop the talk. Stop it. Just think about it. For that one way deal. No, they talk that thing for my ear. No, they make noise. Wait for your mind. It's not, and, and, I don't like money, Abi. It's not only money. But no, now. No, now. I don't know if you betray my friend because of money. No, they talk that thing for my ear again. No. I don't want vex. The army. Alright. That's fine. Can I at least get a phone? I need to make a call. I promise to pay for it. Me, Carlo, give you phone to make a call. Cable run police acquire. Turn the fire your mouth for there. Better turn the fire you for there. Listen to me. I promise you I'm not calling the police. I just want someone to hear my voice. You want someone to hear your voice? The angel of God, Abby. Do it for me, bro. No call me bro. No call me bro. Don't like a bro brocade. I'm not your brother. I don't like you. Eh? You're nothing but a traitor to my body's happiness. By a nice suppose on pie. Eh? Painful exit. By a nice suppose on pie. No why my boss they keep you. No provoke me. Allow me just smoke my smoke in peace. Eh? Allow me smoke my smoke in peace. You hear me? If I were you, I'll take the offer. If I were you, I will stop talking. Otago. Fabi, are you? One more word, one more word from you now. What's up? Just talk. I need to drink some water, bro. Uh -huh. She has been very unstable since morning, requested to see the man that brought her here. I see. It's okay. I've been trying to reach the man on the phone, but his number doesn't seem to be going. Oh. I'll keep trying. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, sir. Think about what? 
all the money inside. He's offering us one millionaire each to let him go. He offered you the same amount as well? I mean, I think we should let him go and take the money. Kalo, are you, are you mad? Are you okay? What are you saying? How much do you think Longinus wants to give us after everything? How are you so sure he's doing this thing for money? No, no, listen. No matter what, we cannot betray him. He has been very supportive to all of us. So we have to stand by him now that he wants to get his woman back. Then after that, what happens? Eh? Go back to abject poverty. Now what for you, guy? This could be our only opportunity. Eh? Let us take this money. Let me speak to our boss first. Speak to him about what again now. Kalo comes in down. What is your problem? Calm down. This is a deal. We cannot betray him. Calm down. I understand you. Hmm? Maji. No, go ahead. So let's go in. Eric left here since yesterday. I know what you now. He hasn't come around. What's going on? Relax, my dear. He'll be back very soon. He called me early this morning while I was coming to the hospital. I, he had a little delay at the site in the village. But I'll be same. Relax. He'll be here soon. How okay? soon, doctor? How soon? From all indications and my discussions with him, I think it's today. My dear, don't worry yourself. He is going to be here before this bandage is off your face. He'll be here. Eric knows how dangerous the village is. Why didn't he tell me before leaving for the village? Why? Doctor, I need to speak with him on the phone. And now, please. Please, please, please. Do me one favor, my dear. Like I said, he is safe wherever he is. Alright? I think you should focus more on your recovery. He had a major operation. Focus more on your recovery. He'll be here very soon and safe. I am worried. I am worried. My dear, you shouldn't. Okay? Concentrate on your recovery. Eric will be here very soon. Relax. Longinus, you are yet to tell me what you are doing in my shop. Meanwhile, bring down your leg from my table. Amadi. 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 You know what you want to do. You think I don't know you are the one behind the police that raided my house the other day in search of one uh, Mr. Eric. You think I don't know. Amadi. I got my eyes on you. You think you're smart. Amadi. I got my eyes on you. Who can make you out of it? You think you're smart. Eh? First of all, I know that you are the one behind Eric's disappearance. But don't worry. I, I am Adi. I must expose you. I will expose you and the police will come after you again. They will arrest you again. <laughs> if Piki and C fight where they separate, Say me fight, come. You okay, go run okay, run. okay, Mechano, be Amadi, the only reason you are still breathing, like now, the only reason you are still seeing the air to breathe is because the police already don't they suspect me. If not, if not, say police don't they suspect me, Amadi, light here again. What if you get? I go off you. Oh, what if you get me? Amadi, I go off you like. Oh, what if you get me? Please, tell me why you are here. And get out from my shop. Just tell me why you are in my shop. What do you want? No, I'm not. Don't want your gang I am not selling to you. And I will never sell my pan wine to a murderer like you. Never! But the man listen. But listen. The man listen. I will never sell pan wine to you. 
Oh, Amadi is even feeling special with the pan wine already. Very special. Mm. Mm. Uh. Well, you're not the only one selling pan wine in this village. You can't. Stop. You're not the only one now. Please go elsewhere. Take eh? it. Go elsewhere and bring pan wine. You now. I can never sell my pan wine to you. Please leave my shop. Leave my bar, Biko. Lunchy, lunchy, lunchy. Emmerekey, emmer. Okay, Mkolo, no give us in a bar, no porno. Mkolo, no give us in a bar, no porno. Oh, get it, Panu. Then no more, no. Yo. Okay, me again. Yo. Okay, bar, apple. Okay, bar, apple. Then okay, no apple. Sina shop, no porno. Better learn, no one. Sina shop, no porno. Then no no. Eh? Is that good, better learn? No, talk easy, better kelly kelly. You, I beg a kele kele. Bechale. Oh, no, Bioja. Emereki. Amadi. Sasa Harura na juru yo. Ato Vesho. Emereki. Emereki. Echiche ya ni nebi hoja. Emereki. Emereki. Amadi. 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 Eric, doctor. My dear, relax. Okay? The young man that brought you here is my very good friend. And I take him as my son. Yes, he told me he made a promise to you that before this bandage is taken off from you, he will be here. Yes. Okay? But I've been trying to reach him on phone. Since that time, I've not been able to get him. Even the people that he worked with in his own place said they don't really know much about his disappearance. Okay, and for me, it kept me worried. Doctor, what are you saying? You told me yesterday that you spoke with him. Yes, I did. I did. It's for a reason. I just discovered that you were being panicky about it. So I have to tell you that, but the truth is that I've been trying to reach him on phone and his line is not going. I knew it. I knew it. I knew. I knew something Please. was wrong. I knew it. I knew. I knew Eric was in danger. I knew, doctor, you need to take me to my village. Eric is in danger. I know his suspect who would know his whereabouts. Doctor, please. Please, calm, you, calm yourself down. Please, you are stressing your nerves. Remember, you just had an operation. Please. Please. And you cannot go anywhere now. You should be allergic to the sun. Please. Just calm your nerves. He will return back to us safely. Believe me. Eric is in danger. Eric is not in danger. Eric is safe wherever he is right now. Just believe me. Okay? Believe me. All you need to do is to relax so that you can recover fast. Okay? Thank God you can see now. You should be giving glory to God. Thank God. <laughs> Why must I do Nonjinu's bidding? Who is he to me? 
my father or what? I am very certain there is no much money I will get from Longinius after killing this man. He only kidnapped him for his evil desires, not even for money. That man has money for him to agree to offer me one million naira. I don't know what is wrong with Emeka. Seems to be too loyal to a fort. How can I say no to this golden opportunity? Dear Uju, I know you are worried why I never showed up. Today is a special day in your life. The day you finally get to see the world and its beauty. I am so sorry I could not show up just like I promised. But I pray you forgive me because I am far away. I am at a place unknown to anyone. My life is not assured anymore, but I'll try to stay alive for you so I can behold your face one more time. I really appreciate this from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. You're a brave man. You're a good man. Don't thank me yet. Wait till you leave this village. Bet that will be after you must have made the transfer. Come on, man. I'm a man of my words. I'm going to give you the money, I promise. Let's go. Offered me 2.5 million naira, and I was going to give it to you. I swear, I swear to God, I was going to give it to you. I'm willing to pay more. Please shut up. So you think 2.5 million naira can buy the love I have for you? Is that what you think? No, please, eh? I promise to kill him myself this time around, eh? It's also second chance, Biko. Please. <laughs> second chance. visiting you. Um, 
the young man in question, I take him as my son. And the report that came to me said that the young man's car was seen abandoned somewhere with nobody inside. And that suggests kidnapping. Uh, doctor, I would like to confirm something from you. Was he with anybody before his disappearance? Or rather, is he an enemy of his? None that I know for now. But I gathered from the girl I took as my daughter that uh, he has some enemies in the village that are actually against their togetherness. Uh, yes. But it, all the same, I would like this mystery to be unraveled. So right. you don't have to bother. We'll try our best. Okay? It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. I think your lenses are ready. Okay, they're already they are ready. It's alright. Right. So I can pick it up. In a quiet, in a quiet, Timo. In a quiet, a war on your come, Gakara. So much space, agony, sorrow, and heaviness. Eh, eh, one is your joker. What is it again? My dear, you need to stop crying. Stop crying. Wipe away your tears. Okay? He's... He's my everything. I know. I know he's your everything. But that's not why you should continue to cry. Remember. Your eyes aren't strong enough for this. Okay? Wipe these tears away, my dear. Okay? When are we going to the village to find him? <laughs> the DPO said it's going to be a day after tomorrow. And he promised making his boys available for protection. Okay? So please. Wipe your tears. He is safe wherever he is. I believe so. I, my world will be empty without him. Eric is the only person, the only family that I have. Let nothing happen to him. He told me your story, my dear. He told me your story. I, I've been thinking, it's high time you leave the hospital and come to my own home. I will take good care of you. My dear, honestly, I'm a widower. I've been in this condition for quite a long time. And believe me, for 10 good years now, no wife, no child. That is why I want you to come and stay with me. I'll take good care of you. I'll take you as my own daughter. Yes. I'm sorry for your loss. You see? That's why I said, just come. Let's be together. I will take you as my daughter. I will do everything humanly possible to make you happy. Eric is not dead. He's safe wherever he is. Focus on your complete recovery, okay? He is going to be back to us. Alright? It's okay. I'm sorry. Just wipe away your tears. Okay? Please get some food to eat. You are welcome. When this one starts now? Have you forgotten you eat once daily? So why are you disturbing my peace? If I slap your if I slap your face, eh? Idiot. 
face. Some time ago, I was diagnosed with ulcer. I can't starve for too long. Please help me. Oh God, that ulcer will kill you there. See that ulcer? Oh God, that kasiga of ima forget Idiot. You have ulcer, and you want me to kill myself for you, right? He wants me to kill myself for you. Idiot. Can I ask you a question? Why didn't you take the money I offered you? I thought you were smart. But you're not. Just take a good look at yourself. Do you want to keep being a failure all your life? Kidnapping people and tying them up when you had the chance to disappear with a huge sum of money. Your friend, your late friend was smarter than you. Shut up! Why are you talking to me like that? Listen. Don't remind me of my friend's death. Because you caused it. You no, know, you killed him. You snitched. You snitched on him and he died. So you killed your friend, I didn't kill him. Will you shut up? No! Will you shut up? Listen. Even if Longinus decides to leave you. I will personally kill you, idiot! <laughs> oh, Ujuka. So finally you've regained your sight. I'm so, so happy. This God is so good. Thank you, Mr. Amadi. Good to see you as well. Same here. <laughs> You look healthy. Yeah. <laughs> um, Mr. Maddy, we came for Mr. Eric. For weeks now, we've not seen or heard from Mr. Eric. And we were told that the last place he visited was this village. Uh, yes, I... I heard that uh, his car was found abandoned. That's the only thing I heard about him. I'm also looking for him as well. But up till now, I have not heard anything about him. Do you think Longinus will have a hand in this? That boy, he's my number one suspect. No, he has uh, denied everything but I still don't trust him. <sighs> I think we should start the search from his house. Do you know of anybody that he's linked to? A friend that he can, he's connected to? You know the kind of friends a criminal will keep now? Friends that will be drinking and smoking with him always. Even stealing with him. Yes, he has, he has criminal friends. We've actually been to the sites where Eric was working and we discovered they have engaged the services of a new engineer. So I am suggesting immediately that we should go looking for that longinus of a guy immediately. What do you think? You're right. I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Can you see me? Hi. You, you 
you are, you are even looking more beautiful than before. But can you can you see me? Ujuka! Ujuka! If you move an inch close to her, I'm gone you down. Uh, who, who, are, who are these people now? I mean, they're not... Their face is not looking familiar. They're not police from this... Oh yes, they are not policemen from this village. I brought them all the way from the city to arrest you for kidnapping my man! Ah, kidnap, okay? Uju? Uju, even you, my lover, is calling me a kidnapper. How, 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 how can you be where such conversation is being held about me? It's me, Lonjo. No, this is some... Listen, young man. We had express order from your king to come and search your house. So allow the police to do their job immediately. Hey. You don't wish like that. Say I'm not going to get peace for my own house again. Hey. Ah, hey, but did that same king that gave you permission to come and search my house, didn't he tell you that my house had been searched severally by the police and the army? What, what, what? I don't know if you rest for my own house again. Can you allow the police to do their job? Allow the police to search your house and now, officers, go and do your job. Search the house. Quickly. Okay, I'm gonna have one of my car. You, you're very lucky. If you have dwelled in this village, you got Google for no one by now. You still have the maggot to mouth to the talk, even in the presence of the police? That shows how stupid and rugged you are. Nah, suck you. Come on, we'll move back. Are you stupid? Move an inch close to her, I'll get you down. There is nothing inside the house. How do you mean there is nothing inside the house? What do you mean? He owns a gun and he uses it to threaten people. Go. What are you saying? Go he owns it. a gun. Yes, he owns a gun. You are for all people. Tell him they care. I'm well. Hello, my daughter. Officers, uh, I think for now we have to go. All right? Let's return back to the base. Ujuka, this is not the love you promised me, oh. Ujuka, this is not the love you promised me. Why couldn't you take out the water over there? Oh, oh. As you can see, we searched the entire village. And it's nowhere to be found. Eric is here. I can feel him. Can connect to his soul. He's here in this village. He's here. You may be right. So, officer, what do we do then? We we'll return to base and make reports. We we'll mobilize more men that will mount surveillance for weeks in this village. Okay. On that bad guy. Okay. I know one day he will take us to where Mr. Eric is kept. I'm not going anywhere. I am not going anywhere without Eric. Thanks for your effort. Okay? okay I appreciate it so much. Hmm? My dear. I've told you, Sheba, my God would not let anything happen to you. You had the police. They said they will mobilize some men to come back to this village and get that criminal. Hmm? Please, let's go back to the city. I can't leave this place without him. I cannot leave this place without my Eric. My dear, I want you to understand something here. Considering your health, we really have to go back to the city. Okay? God will never allow anything to happen to our Eric. Nothing will happen to him. Moreover, you know your eye. Okay, it's too tender for now. Alright? You can't stand under the sun for too long. The health implication is very, very disastrous. Please, let's go back to the city. So painful, so painful. She won't win in a fire. Oh God, where are you? A begging no chuku. Life is harsh on me, oh, oh. 
You have not touched the food I bought and kept for you at the dining since morning. What is your problem? I'm not hungry yet. It's not hard. You should try and eat something. Okay? You can't continue like that. I told you that that young man must come back to us. God will not disappoint us. Okay? You try and eat something. I pray. I pray. I pray so too. Because the truth is, Doctor, I can't live without him. I can't. Would you want? I want you to call me dad. Please. I prefer you address me as your dad henceforth. My daughter, I have grown to love and accept you as my daughter. Please. Do me the honor of becoming my adopted child. It's okay, Dad. Daddy, when are we going back to the village? Uh, the police instructed that it's going to be by the weekend. But all the same, my daughter, I would like you to focus more. I want you to come back to good health again, okay? And stop pinning, stop pinning, pinning on Eric's disappearance. It will do you no good. It will do you no good, okay? Like I said, God will not disappoint us, okay? He will give that to us. What about the family members? Did you reach out to them? I did. And they've been worried as well over the boy's disappearance. But I want to make something categorically clear here. If that longinus of a guy has a hand or is guilty of the disappearance of Eric, oh my God, I swear to God, I'll make sure the boy was in jail. He will never see the light of the day. I promise you this, my daughter. Give me a smile. to pee. Help me, please. Please. I need to pee first before I eat. I'm very pressed. Help me. Just untie me. Please. Thank you so much, man.
you are alive. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up, get up. Get up, hold on yourself. The people who kidnapped me yes. are somewhere around. We need to leave here. Okay, okay, okay. Don't bother yourself. You're, you're ready in my care and protection. Hey, oh my God. I need to drink some water, bro. I understand. I, I, I don't know you're alive. I thought you're dead. Don't worry. Let's go straight to my house. I'll give you food water and food. After which, you will tell me your story. I didn't know you, you know you know I'm loyal to you. There's no way I can I can't even betray you. So that man offered you money. No. no. You collected money from my enemy. No, no, no. He didn't offer me anything. I swear I'm No now. You collected money from my enemy. No, no, I didn't. How much did he no. give you? He knocked me out and escaped right before my eyes. I didn't know. I didn't know how the whole thing happened. It was like a magic. I didn't know. Please, boss. Don't kill me. Don't please, don't kill me, please, Bowser. <laughs> Last chance. Eh? Last chance. Hey. Uh, How much did he give you? I swear, I swear, he, he didn't give Tell me the truth. Don't want to talk to me. Whatever you sow, that you must reap. Oh, a John Dajoka, Zeluya. Makano palo poko buru no kwanti chiria. Eh, a John Dajoka, Zeluya. Get my face! Go to jail. Do not move an inch from there. Don't move. Which day this nonsense start? Eh? No, Which day this kind of nonsense? This kind of start for this village. You will know the nonsense today. If you try eh? it, it's stupid. Young man, you are under arrest. Do not move an inch from there. Yes. Do you not move an inch from there. You're a curse. You're a curse for both of you to think that you can arrest me. We are not who are the follow talk. Longinus, come on. Who do you think you are? Who are the Try it and see. Take an inch and see what will happen to you now. You see, get mouth. Whatever you sow, that you must reap. Karin. My daughter, I have a good news for you. What's that? Wonderful news. Eric is alive. He was rescued by the police. Eric! Yes. As I speak with you, he is on his way to the city. That means he's going to be here, fat and hearty, very soon. Oh my God, Daddy! Are you serious? I'm I... dead serious about this. Oh, thank you, Jesus! Thank you, Jesus! I'm so, I'm excited. He should. Oh, oh, I'm so happy. I told you not to worry yourself that you must be back to us. You said so, Daddy. <laughs> Thank you for all the moral support. 
I love you. You are one of the best things that have happened to me in life. I love you too, my daughter. <laughs> you, do you know what should bother you now? Oh. I want you to start thinking of the best thing you can do for him. <laughs> his delicacy, his best meal. What do you think? What do you think I should prepare for uh, him? Uh, allow me to think. Uh, yes, beans and plantain. Okay, Orange. You know oh. Or better still, better still, uh, rice and chicken or any of this. Daddy, not to worry. Food. I just thought of something. I just thought of the right food to prepare for him. So not to worry. I will do just that. Eric! I'll put something together. Uh, what about Longinus? Don't talk about him. Longinus is marble stone dead. <gasps> that was the information from the police. Don't let him spoil our mood, please. Get cracking immediately. Go and prepare something for Eric. May God forgive his soul. I'll be part of the meal. May God forgive Get prepared his soul. for Eric, please. Eric, let I'll me join you. Okay. In Egypt, you'll be here in Egypt. Okay, Daddy. Yeah. Yes, I am. Thoughts of Ujuga kept me alive. I had to stay alive. I had to stay strong for her sake. Where is she? She's in my house. Yes, she's at home right now. Yeah. I need to see her as soon as possible. You will see her, but again, you have to take first aid first. I know she wouldn't like to see you looking horrible. She would like to be with your handsome face again. Alright. Can she see now? Yes, she can see you very, very well now. Her sight is restored? Completely restored. I don't want you to be happy with that. At least she can behold your face again. to see you looking horrible, okay? So let's go and take care of first, okay? Thank you. Ujuka! Is she okay? Uju! Daddy! Daddy is so You're welcome. Thank you. I'm sure she'll be very excited to see me. I hope so. <laughs> Eric! Saved your life. No! Don't you recognize my name? No! No! This is the young man who saved your life. What the fuck? No! 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 Is she okay? I can't fix it, I said. Why is she screaming? She doesn't recognize my voice. I haven't been entirely honest with you on how I became blind. I never told Mr. Eric as well because it, it is something I never want to talk about because of the pain it brings to my heart. It was in the year 2006 when some politicians came to our village from the city for campaign.
Hey, bro, you come here. So I'm too small that you can't recognize my presence. You walk past without greeting me. How dare you? Excuse me. Who are you? Because I don't seem to recognize you. Is this one of the that came for campaign in our village now? Hey, are you trying to say you are new in this village or you don't know the position my father holds? Or you are simply stupid and daft? I don't see any reason for this insult. I simply do not know you. The only authority I recognize in this village is our king and the royal family. Not some strangers that just came into our village to stay for a while and leave. You can just stop talking. Sir, please forgive us. Forgive us for everything. Please forgive us for not greeting you, please. And what about you? I can't remember wronging you in any way to warrant an apology. Let's go. Get her.
to do something. I can't be to see her in this condition. Okay, what do you want me to do? I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. of money. I, look at my daughter's eyes. Because I couldn't afford the surgery. Because of money. Halele. Halele, Bugo. Bayadeva. Obiam, you have really dealt with me. You have dealt with me. And the death of your father, where is your career? Where is your career? Look at me. Mama, it's okay, stop crying, you know? Stop crying. I believe that you took work and go be on my own. Do not disappoint me. God, do not disappoint me. Remember what the doctor says? That if you desist from crying, so that the eyes will not get lost, you know? Basically, if you cry again, I'm so crying, you know? Stop crying, because what am I living for? I, I was uh, having just one eye. <laughs> Who is going to marry a woman with one eye? Hey, Mama. Mama, this is so unfair of our G. I mean, how can my beautiful sister remain like this for life? I wish I lay my hands on that one. Would have squeezed in my life. Hey, now become why you're old. He's only but a child. And why you former? Oh, he's a child, yo. Don't go there, please. I pray and I believe that your sister will gain her sight back. Only God, only this walking God be able to do it for us. Mama, does I grow after being damaged? I was in so much pain. Excruciating pain for weeks. My mother rallied round some little money. And they took me to the village medical health center. But it was already late because the other I has been damaged as a result of infection from the punctured eye. The punctured eye was left untreated for too long. There was, there was nothing the village doctors could do about it. And I went, I went blind. I became blind because of this beast. It took 15 years. 15 years of my life. My world was filled with darkness. Darkness you slapped me into. <laughs> I am so... I feel so ashamed of myself. I am sorry. sorry. Ujuko, I... Ujuko, I am sorry. I, I, I didn't... How did I not even recognize you? I thought you were my guardian angel sent to me by God. But no. You are the evil. 
it the devil I should have avoided in the first place? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Don't crucify me. I was reckless while I was growing up. I was a very stubborn child. I had a rich father whose political position got me thinking I was on top of the world. I, it's all in my past. I'm a better person now. I, I, I didn't even... I'm, I apologize for everything. I'm sorry, please forgive me. You know, you know what, you know what, 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 you know what? It is beginning to make sense to me now. Oh. You. You've been kind towards me because you recognize me. Yes, it is true. No. You were kind to me because you wanted to make amends. No, no, Juka, no, that's not true. Listen, I, I, I didn't even know it was you. I didn't recognize you, honestly. Oh, yeah. I, 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 oh, yeah. I swore in my life I, I didn't recognize you. I didn't know it was you. I didn't even remember. Please, forgive me. Juka, you have to forgive me, please. Listen, wait. I understand how you feel, but please, it's all in my past. I am a changed man now. I, I can't do anything to hurt you deliberately. Please, just don't touch me. Don't. Don't. Now get out of here. Please, you, forgive me. That's all. That's please. Leave this place this minute. Now! Now! Yes, please. Young man. She has to rest. His father is a rich businessman and a politician. I want to believe he told you his story. He was adopted by rich parents who felt he's going to be their child after all. That was why he, he was so stupid, unruly, and extravagant and arrogant. That is why. Really? I know. I know how painful it could be for the same man that inflicted pains and injuries to your heart. Coming back again as a saint to your life. I know how painful it could be. Daddy, please. If you are here to convince me about Eric, I would suggest you forget about it because I am done with him. How do you expect me to be with someone who first showed me the wickedness of man? How, Daddy? I am done with him. It is over. I would never forgive him. Never! My dear daughter, I am only trying to make you understand why he behaved the way he did. But growing up as a man made him to change to a better person. You see that boy? I like him and I call him my son. Please. Me about Eric. I don't want to hear about Eric again. Please, I'll suggest you just stop talking to me about Eric in this house, please. My daughter, where are you going to, Juaku? Where? You walking out on me? I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. What's wrong? 
Nothing. I'm sorry. Are you sure? That was so close. I almost knocked you down. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, please. Hey, 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 hey. Come on. Tell me. Are you okay? I am fine. I'm sorry, please. I don't mind if you share it. No, not to worry. I'm fine. All right. Please watch out next time, okay, when you're crossing. everything going to be fine. Do you know she's the reason I never give up on freedom and she just left me like that? Listen, bro, I understand, okay? It's not your fault. I mean, shit do happen. Okay? Moreover, this thing happened way, way years ago. I mean, way back. So she ought to have forgiven you. Come I on. I understand. But I don't blame her at all. I took away her sight. I made her go blind. Eric, for God's sake, you gave her back her sight. Okay? I mean, God used you to restore her sight. So, yeah. why would she forgive you? Why? You know, I, I feel so ashamed of myself. If I had realized she had gone blind, I wouldn't have come this far with her. I, I feel <coughs> like... Bro, listen. I, she went blind because of me. And right now, I feel like my past... It's haunted me. And I... I feel like a devil. Yeah. Listen, Eric. Um, let me make this clear to you, okay? I mean, if I were you, I would be happy. But you should be happy because God has given you one in a lifetime opportunity of seeing, recognizing, and asking her for forgiveness. So come on. What if you have died with your sins? Come on, bro. You should draw some consolations from that. I understand. But I love her. And I feel like my heart won't be at peace if she does not forgive me. Trust me, bro, you will heal. Okay? You will. Moreover, you just um, returned from weeks of immense torture, so. Need rest, okay? How do I look? I won't. Came better, right? <laughs> Come on, bro. You're good, okay? Just go and rest, alright? Please. My daughter, are you sure you don't want to go out with me? I don't want to set my eyes on him. But I can inform him not to show up. I will. Dad, it's fine. Just go to work. Your patients will be waiting for you now. I'll be fine. Are you sure? I can skip work today and just stay with you. Dad, go to work. <laughs> you won't understand. Are you sure about that? You want me to go? Ah, oh, Dad, I will be fine. And please do not go to work worrying your pretty head about me, okay? I will be fine and by tomorrow, 
Trust me, I will go to work with you. And please do not go to work worrying your pretty head about me, okay? Be sure about that. Yes, Dad. <laughs> it's okay. I must be on my way now. It's okay. Have a pretty day. You too. Bye bye. Bye. Oh God, where are you? Chim Ebekino. Life is so harsh on me. So painful, so painful. She won't win you no fire. Oh God, where are you? A begging no chuku. Life is harsh on me. Oh, a fufu we we wa, a fufu we we mo. But the Ramos say ye ma ka o, iju wa ma, iju wa, e wo iju wa, iju wa. Morning. Good morning, sunshine. How are you? Hi. Good morning. Do I know you? The guy that almost knocked you down yesterday. Oh, my bad, sorry. I I wasn't in the right frame of mind. I, I wasn't even looking. I, I'm sorry once again. Do you still want my apology? <laughs> You're very funny. I just um, ran it off uh, from my gym, so I thought I should stop by and check on you. I know how you're doing. Oh, <laughs> quite thoughtful. Um, thank you. You're welcome. Though I stand to be corrected, but I can clearly say that you've been through heartbreak recently. And what are you? Some relationship expert. <laughs> Far from it. Um, well, I... I've been there several times. Just that I've never had my luck with women or relationships. But the one that finally decided to stay with me got drowned in the pool last year. Oh. I'm so sorry about that. It's okay. It's fine, okay? Now you see why I said I've been there. I've been there severally. I have been struggling so hard to get over it. It's almost a year now. So I understand perfectly how you feel. Okay? Sometimes it makes one unnecessarily aggressive. So aggressive and even sometimes filled with animosity, just as you were displaying the other day. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm sorry about that day. Would you, this is the fourth time you're saying sorry. The fourth time already. Okay, come on, there's no need to apologize. I understand you perfectly well. I wish you speedy recovery. I I just want you to know that some persons have been through worse. Worse. But I still here seated chatting with you. And what makes you think or assume that I haven't been through worse? Did you lose anyone? Alright, um, enough of my sad moments, okay? I would like to hear your story, please. Mr. Eric, you really have to pull yourself together. You know, it is not going to be easy for her to forgive you. Especially what she has been through.
Doctor, honestly, I regret everything. And sometimes I wish I can turn back the hands of time to right my wrongs and say I am sorry, but I don't know how to do that. I know you acted like a child. I am not blaming you. But you see, it is not going to be easy for her to accept you after what she went through. So you have to take it easy with her. Doctor, asking her to accept me is asking for too much. I just want her to forgive me. I... I, I feel so sorry because I know I... I was stupid as a young child and, you know, I, I, I just want to find ways to, to make her see that I'm very sorry because I can't imagine what she's been through, you know, as a blind person. It's, and to think that it's all my fault, it's, it's, I don't know. <laughs> my dear, forgiveness is a virtue, but again, it's not too easy to forgive. Not after what she passed through, like I said. Be patient with her. I know she is going to forgive you after, but just be patient with her. As regards to forgiving you, I will continue to talk to her on your behalf. Just be patient. With time, she will forgive you. Thank you, Doctor. I appreciate it. it means a lot to me. Eric, uh, I am not going to blame you. You were just a child. But you've grown up to be a better man. And that is why I love you so much. I am going to talk on your behalf. No doubt she will forgive you. There's this girl I met, um, I met earlier on. I almost knocked her down my car. Okay, so we got talking and um, I paid her a surprise visit after my gym. We shared our stories and um, guess what, bro? This girl is beautiful. Gosh, she's the princess. Oh. Eric. Eric. Yeah? I was talking to you. Oh, sorry. What did you say? I was telling you about the um, girl I met earlier on today. Oh. Bro, this girl is a princess. Trust me, she's beautiful. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, congrats, man. Um, I'm happy for you. <laughs> I mean, you have decided to finally give someone a chance. That's good news. Bro. Yeah. But don't congratulate me yet, okay? I mean, she hasn't said yes. Moreover, I am yet to give her my proposal. Like, pop the question. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, bro. <laughs> Listen, what, so what, what, what are you waiting for? I mean, you should do that as soon as possible. I mean, you don't know tomorrow. I, I feel you should be fast about that before someone takes her away from you. You know, Eric, I have told you times to that number. Your choice of words. You know? Oh, well, yeah, I mean, you might lose her. Come on. Nobody's dying tomorrow and I'm not losing anybody. Oh, okay. Good. Okay? Right. I am not. And um, I'm also praying to God to bring you another angel. Another angel? Yes. Why? Because you need one. No, I don't need one. I already have one. <laughs> Trust me, bro, you need one. No, I don't need one. I love her. I do. It's 
I don't need another angel. I don't. You do. Tell him to go away, please. Please, on my behalf, would you forgive him? He's here with me, please. Let him come and see you. Dad, please, I don't want to see him. It is over between us. Tell him to go away, please. For my sake, please, would you let him see you? Please. I don't need his apology. I don't want to hear anything from him. Please, just... Tell him to move on with his life and leave me the hell alone. Could you? I would like you to understand, but if you insist, I'll tell the young man to go. He should go. Eric, let us go. You're not looking bright today at all. What is it? Do I look sad? Well, today's own is different. In fact, today is so conspicuous enough for everyone around this environment to notice. Please, do not make them feel we're quarreling, okay? He came again. Why can't he just let you be? I mean, why can't he just let you be and stop disturbing you? Why? I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with him. I really can't tell what's wrong with him. But the thing is, I'm trying so hard to get him off my mind. I will. I will get him off my mind very soon. I understand. I do. I... I understand you perfectly well. Okay, I know how difficult it is for you to, to get someone you genuinely love out of your mind. It's not that easy, you know. I, I wish he could stop coming. I wish to see less of him. His voice irritates me. It reminds me of how I fell in love with him the first time I heard his voice as a blind girl. It's fine, okay? It's fine. All I want you to do is um, take it easier yourself, okay? I believe everything will be fine. You will heal again. Trust me. My dear, that's unfair and unkind of you not to have given that young man audience. Dad, please. I don't want to ever talk about Eric. Please. But the young man has shown you how sorry he is. He did. Haven't you punished him enough? Tell me. Tell me what he must do to deserve your forgiveness. He should go away. 
But you know he is human. Dad, please. Please, stop tormenting me with talks of the man who hurt me so much. Dad, if you don't want me to stay in your house again, then I'll go back to the village. I don't want to talk about Eric again. Ah. Could it be I'm falling in love with Remy? No. I can't be in love with any man right now. Not after what I passed through in the hands of Eric. What? But he's growing fond of me and I'm getting so attached to him. But come to think of it, he has he hasn't done he hasn't done anything to me unlike Eric, who I will never forgive for what he did to me. I still need to take my time and study Remy properly before getting into any form of relationship with him. Mm, though he looks nice, but that was what I thought of Eric before getting to know who he truly is. In fact, I don't think I'm ready for anything relationship for now. No, 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 no. I'm done. I'm done. Get it out of your head. I'm done. I am very sorry for disturbing your peace over Eric's matter. I'm very sorry for not realizing the trauma, the emotional pain, the damage his action did to you. I'm honestly, I'm sorry for not realizing what you are passing through and not giving you reasonable time to pass through the process, to process things yourself. I'm sorry, my daughter. I'm equally sorry, Dad. I'm sorry for the way and manner in which I spoke to you earlier today. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I will. But on one condition that you don't tell me you are going to leave me again. I have come to love and accept you as my daughter. Please, don't threaten me with that again. Don't tell me you will leave me again, please. I'm sorry. I would never say a thing like that ever again. You will always remain my dad. And I've come to love you as well. going anywhere. It is a promise. I am not leaving you. And I promise you, I will never discuss Eric's issue in this house again. I have a new date. Really? <laughs> Who could that be? I can't wait. His name is Remy. 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 I can't wait to meet Remy. I can't wait to meet with him. <laughs> and you're happy? Of course I am happy. Just happy, okay, sad. 
You're not happy. What's wrong, man? The new girl that I, 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 I told you about. What's wrong with the new girl? Are you having issues with her? No. She's been avoiding me. She's not taking my calls. She's doing everything possible to block me from seeing her. Hmm. That's strange. Have you tried to go to her house? Do you know where she lives? Yeah, yeah, I do. I do, but I've not been there to check up on her. Oh. Okay, I, I think you should do that. Yo, you want me to go with you? Come on, bro. No. I... I'll go there myself, okay? I, I'll go there and know why she's been avoided. Yeah, I think you should do that because she might have her own reason why she hasn't reached out to you. So it's important that you, you reach out first and find out. It's All important. right, I, I will do just that. Okay. All right, listen, I, I hope everything goes well for you, okay? I want you to be happy. same time sad. I was happy because I knew it would not be long before God punishes you for what you did to me. At the same time, I was sad because I know that I love you so much and I still do. Um, probably because you're going through a lot right now. I mean, it's not easy bringing in a village miserable blind girl to town and she regained her sight and left you. I mean, take a good look at yourself. Are you here to mock me? No, 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 no. For what? Come on, darling. You brought this upon yourself. Uh-huh. I had real love for you. I love you and I still do. But what did you do? You shoved it up my ass and went for you nobody. Take a good look at you now. Look at your life. It's never too late to reconcile with me. I mean, to beg me, of course. That's why I'm here. Leave my house. What? I said leave my house. Is this pride talking or what? I mean, are you really asking me out of your house, Eric? Just leave my house, okay? The windows are open. Time is ticking. It's not too late to beg me. I mean, it's not too late for us to reconcile. Me, beg you. That's why I'm here. Going on? Why are you avoiding me? Look, for God knows what, you've been avoiding me and... Come on, baby. If there's anything I have done, okay, please, tell me. I will apologize here and now. You have, you've done nothing to me. Then absolutely nothing. As a matter of fact, I, f 
find you to be perfect. You are such a perfect gentleman. And that makes me wonder why you've been unfortunate, or should I say, unlucky in relationships. Or is it that my gender are too blind or unintelligent to spot a genuine and sincere man like you? Baby, I... I believe God has a reason for everything and for everyone. I'm... I'm sorry... I'm sorry that... I started avoiding you in recent time. Well, you see, the truth is, I needed time for reevaluation. I needed time to think that my brother was right after all. He said the same thing to me too. You have a brother? Oh yes, I I do. I I have another brother. In fact, I, I have another brother whom I have told so much about you. I cannot wait for him to meet a special woman in my life. What makes me special? you are special <laughs> and because my heart beats for you I will forever ever beat for you all I want is for you to give me an opportunity to take this relationship to another level please I want Sure. I really want to. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. I love you so much. But from the depth of my heart, I, I do love you. I promise you, you're not going to regret this. Okay. <laughs> In fact, um, how about we go see my brother tomorrow? That would be great. Sure! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! My dear, my attempt to reconcile you with Uchuka almost brought a serious issue between us. It almost severed my relationship with her. I don't want that. I'm very sorry to hear that, Doctor. You see, she made me promise her that I will not talk anything about you before her again. And what is most paramount and important to me right now is my relationship with her. If I jeopardize it and stay with me in this house, we'll be jeopardized. Please, I do not want anything that will come in between us. I'm sorry about that. Doctor, I clearly understand how you feel. And I must respect the fact that you are trying to secure that fatherly relationship you have with Ujuka. But it's it's very disturbing to me that up until now she hasn't forgiven me and I don't know why. The truth is I am not asking Ujuka to take me back. I am not asking for a relationship, I am just asking for her forgiveness. Is it too hard for her to forgive me? I want to know what it would take for her to forgive me. Does she want my life? If she wants my life then, she should say so then. 
I can give her my life. I just want to be forgiven. I feel terrible. I feel bad. And I'm genuine. I'm not... My dear, I don't mean to sound selfish here. There is absolutely nothing I can do about that. My relationship with Uchuka right now is very, very important to me. If there is any way I can help you, my dear, I will. But please, stop coming to the house. Uchuka just met a young man and she is into a relationship with that young man right now. I'm sorry, I can't help you. Good deed. Uchuak, my daughter, what is it? You're shouting on top of your being screaming. You're yelling. What is the problem? Who is after you? Did I yell? Of course. I heard your voice. That's why I rushed in to know what is wrong with you. Hope all is well, my daughter. It's a bad dream. There's nothing to worry about. I'm fine, Daddy. It was only but a bad dream. Are you sure about that? You're fine. I am fine, Daddy. You have an early morning surgery. Please go back to bed. Please. I'll be fine. 
it's okay. But I want you to know that dreams are mere working of the mind, okay? Just sleep tight. Let me see you lie down, please. I will, Daddy. Yes, all right. Good night. It's nice meeting you, sir. I'm very fine, thank you. She has told me a lot about you, in fact, how very special you are to her. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much for standing by her. I forgot, uh, I forgot to mention that uh, you restored her sight. No, I did not. God restored her sight and we should give all the glory to God Almighty. Oh, that's true. Well, my dear, I am the owner of this hospital. I'm the MD. I specialize in ophthalmology. My daughter told me a lot about you. You must be a special and wonderful person to have brought happiness to her in such a short while. I guess she must have told you her story. Yes, she did. Um, as a matter of fact, we shared our stories. And ever since then, we became best of friends. <laughs> and now, we are lovers. <laughs> I can see that. So what is your name? My name is um, Remy Juice. And you okay? My friends call me Remy for short. And your parents? <sighs> my parents are late. The name of my father is um, Chief Alphonsus and you okay? Chief Alphonsus and you okay? That name rings bell. Was your father a politician? Yes, uh, my father was the governorship candidate for ANCC party. Eric. Cover fully soon. The doctor on duty was able to read him of the poisonous substance that he took that is in his system. Um, he'll be fine. Please, Don't worry. Please doctor, I, I cannot afford to lose my brother. He's all I have. You will not. I know what is going through your mind right now. But my dear, there is absolutely nothing, no knowledge that is 
above God. Absolutely nothing. Okay? He'll be okay. Hmm? Remy, my brother. I feel so ashamed of myself. I'm sorry for trying to take my own life. And that's because I've been a shadow of myself. I could not think of a better choice. I've begged for forgiveness. I wasn't forgiven. Everything became worse when I said to myself, I never knew my mistake as a child would come back to haunt me. My life turned upside down. When I realized the love of my life is in love with someone else. Remy, I just wanted to end it all. I wanted to kill myself because I felt that would give me peace of mind. Eric, so if I hadn't returned home, you would have died just like that. Eric, for what? For one selfish, hard-hearted girl who has decided never to forgive you. Is it worth taking your life? Yes. Yes, Remy. I was going to take my life. I hurt her, Remy. I hurt her so bad. And there's absolutely nothing I could do to change everything I did. To take back all the bad things I did to her. I said to myself, then I said to myself, if taking my own life would make her forgive me, would bring peace to her, I'm ready to end it all. I'm ready to end the misery, the frustration, the pain. I was ready to do everything. I was, Remy. Need I remind you, Eric, are you my brother? You're my only brother. I love and cherish so much. I will never sit back and watch anything happen to you. I only wish, I only wish I could set my eyes on this, this, this wicked woman and tell how unfair and rude she has treated you. What else does she want from you? Haven't you atoned for your sins enough? Haven't you? You brought her to the city where she practically regained her sight. What else does she want from you? This one must be so terrible. The girl you seek to question. Is right here with us. What? Um, who are you talking about? Who is the girl? I beg. Remy. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I. I was, I was, I was unfair towards your brother. I, I, the girl in question. But I didn't know both of you are brothers. The same way I did not know that he is your brother. I didn't know. Wait. You know my brother? Wait, did you come together? Yes.
Wait, did you... Did you come here together? Yes, brother. You know her? Yes! Brother, she, she, she's, the, she's the girl I, I, I wanted to, to introduce to you at home. Are you joking? Maybe. This is the girl I was telling you about. What? No. No, this, this is not happening. What? This, this is not happening. This is not happening. Um, Remy, that, that's okay. Um, you don't have to beat yourself up, okay? Nothing has changed. I'm ready to sacrifice the love I have for her. For both of you to be together. And truth be told, there's nothing between us. We, we didn't have sex, okay? So, she's still yours. I mean, I just want her to forgive me. I just want her forgiveness. That's all. All right? I mean, I, I love her, but it's okay. You can have her. It's, you're my brother. And she can be my sister, too. I want her to forgive me so I can be at peace with myself. And don't look at her like that. We, we just, we just liked each other and fell in love, but we didn't have sex. Just when I thought, I found the one for me. This is Remy. Remy, what do you mean by that? Remy! Remy. Eric and I grew up together. We grew up not just as brothers, but as best of friends. When Eric got missing, I cried. I cried. I prayed. I wished for his return. told me a whole lot about you. He told me how much you mean to him. Which is why we cannot continue this relationship. I would never have loved you as much as Eric loves you. I would never have dated if you were blind. Oh, he did. He did. It shows the enormity of his love for you. Please. I beg you. 
Don't throw that away. I told you what he did to me. You got that was in the past. That was in the past now. You know very much that that is no longer who Eric is. That was a long time ago. The best thing you can do now is to forgive him. Forgive him so he can heal from the heart. I am not saying this because he's my brother. Saying this because it is the right thing to do. Eric needs your love and forgiveness now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the precious moment we shared together. cherish every moment of it. Imagine the ways of love. Imagine the steps of love. Onye mo kwa nuka osebido na konseje ihe mabona love is strong. No asking you to take me back. It's going to be asking for too much. However, that's not my intention. I just want to be forgiven. And who says you are asking for too much? frustration as a poor blind girl. I really do appreciate. I do from the bottom of my heart. And thank you for not giving up on me. I want us back. Can we start all 
over again. Please. Life is all about love. And love is the true meaning of life. My life is meaningless without you. Uchuka, I am completely lost without you. Thank you for not giving up on me. And thank you for coming back into my life. That reminds me, you promised to tell me how I look <laughs> the moment you regain your sight. So tell me, how do I look? <laughs> you are a handsome, perfect gentleman.